Good morning, everyone. It is another Sunday. You know what that means. It's time for another Sunday space shooting stream here at Ill Fated Gaming. I am your host, Red Mage Joe. It is April 3rd, and while I was seriously contemplating doing some sort of uh, April 1st thing, I'd much rather the stream actually fall on that day. So, no, there will be no out of season. April Fool's jokes. I think everyone's already got that out of their system already. Who have we got here today? Who has joined me? Well, I know, of course, Colt's sitting here in the room with me. How you doing, Colt, my my main man? Here to give me no. some backup commentary. And there's been a lot of banter this morning. Everyone's, uh, we got people uh, spurging out over mantle. We got people weaving out about anime. We got everything. Who who we got here? Who we got? Wouders here. Uh, Mito's here. Glad y'all could make it. Henrik's here. Spartans here. Uh, making sure that uh, everything I do in this Australia is, is here. What's up? I got that wrong. Okay. Dan Bell's here. Who we got, who we got, who we got. But uh, Kestrel is the creator of Mantle. Kestrel sitting it? Really? Fuck, I was I was hoping to get Kestrel in for this, but I, I, I could not get a hold of them other than through Mito. Mito was the only one who had any uh, con uh, con <laughs> contact. Kestrel, glad to have you on board. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, Utra just made a flyby comment before taking off. Thanks, Utra. Urtnax is here. Colt, of course you're here. What a silly thing to say. Shivan SPS is here. I'll be doing fretting while I hear this. Nice. What I'm you, not here. What you, of course you're here. You're eating breakfast. Are you eating breakfast on Mike? Shivan, what you working on in Fred over there, dude? No. Shivan, what you working on? Tell us what you, you want to tell us what you're working on. Almot is here. And there is Kestrel. Hello. You're adjacent weeb. I don't know what that means, but I'll take it as a compliment, Mito. Castrelius, the man, the maestro, the mad, mad genocide mod creator is here. That's a good intro. We need to do that in a, uh, we need to do that in like a wrestling narrator voice. The man, the maestro. Uh, d -d 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 who else? Who else? Did I forget to mention anyone? Nope, nope, nope. We got spoon sounds ASMR. Yes, don't do that. Uh, I'm not gonna make a stream of spoon sounds. I am, uh,. Well, if you can't, if you don't want to say anything about okay. sheep, then that's fine. If it's a super secret, you don't have to say. But uh, if you're willing to share with us, enlighten us on what you're working on over there, then more than uh, <laughs> Mito's. Mito's like no ASMR, fucking, un fucking unsubscribed. Fuck this channel. Uh, do you see my Tomba attack cutscene? Let's just say it's not just a cutscene; it's an intro. Ooh, we're getting some Tomba shit here. Does involve beam cannons. All right, all right. Uh, so let me uh, not diddle doddle any longer here. I am super excited uh, today because today is the first stream where I'm finally back on a stable release, boys and girls. I'm so happy that Free Space Open 22 dropped. I'm back on the stable channel. I will not be getting any more nightlies or RCs. No, no, no. We're not doing that. So if you've been working on a campaign and it's uh, getting near release and you're thinking of what version to drop it on, if you want Joe to play it on stream, it better be on fucking version 22, because I ain't playing it otherwise. No more of this troubleshooting FSO bugs, or are they mod bugs, or or maybe on the off chance they're MVP. No, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that headache, hair pulling nightmare anymore. I just want a stable, solid version of FSO. So if there's a problem, I know immediately that it's related to the mod. Don't need that headache anymore. Uh, never surrender of hammer, hammer of light goes yet. Yeah, well, all right, we're playing as hammer of light and mantle, aren't we? Yes, I know all of you have been clamoring like like fucking baboons for weeks for me to play uh, mantle, and here it is today. We are doing it, so no more wear mantle. Mantle here, here mantle. We will be playing it today. So I hope you're all excited. Uh. Or next. Oh! Utra has left Ian Baker's server. here. Ian! Glad you could drop in, my dude. Uh, I don't know. People keep telling me that their mileage varies with uh, Mantle, but I tested it 
prior to this release and I tested it today. It works on 22.0 and the current media VPs. It works for me, so I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. This channel has a really unique experience where half of the audience is actively developing content for the channel's presenter. Yee! I mean, if, if that's, like I said before, if I'm driving uh, people to create more free space content, then I'm I'm happy because like I love that I can have even just a, a a minor impact on the the influence on the passion people have for this game because I love this fucking game and I love playing more content for it. You might not get that impression when I'm uh, screaming at someone's mod, but again, as I said last week. If I'm getting that worked up over it, it comes from a place of love and passion. So, you know, I, I will tell you right now, over the years, I have played some dog shit games and they do not get even a slight rise out of me. Those are, that's the worst thing is you don't want me to be dispassionately, dispassionately disgusted about something because that means that I'm probably going to drop it in the next five minutes. So, uh... Imagine he starts the first mission and has no weapons again. Oh my god, I for what 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 mod even was that? Oh my goodness. Mantle works great now, good to hear. Couple of things, previous builds ignored and the mods are now critical errors. Uh-oh. Pretty sure the the weapons bullshit is fixed. Oh that's in, that's encouraging. Y'all y'all really encouraging with that. Alright, we will we will give that a shot. Uh, sorry I don't have a, a, a splash or anything up. I've, I've been really busy, so I haven't been able to uh, really dig around too much. I usually just grab something off a Google image search or what have you, but um, I actually tried my hand at making a splash, but apparently that cool subspace corridor that y'all use in like uh, in mission jumps and stuff is not something you can just pull up in the uh, F3 menu of of FSO, which I was really bummed about that because I found this really awesome like Hammer of Light Typhon. I found like the perfect background. I got the perfect angle and the lighting and the engines and everything going. And I was like, okay, now how do I get the subspace corridor? And so I was like, you can't get the subspace corridor. I was like, fuck. <laughs> so I abandoned that and I was just like, well, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it then. Uh, anyway, this shit happened to me in Mantle. Well, it's all right. Don't worry. Uh, chicken. I can't with the chicken shop. He goes to a place that exclusively deals in chicken, and it just boggles my mind. He's got to be going to like a. He's got to be going to like a fucking farmer's market or something. I. It, anyway, let's not obsess over the chicken shop right now. It's like he's going to the fucking soup shop. Uh, this is the day I teach Joe to Fred. I guess. Oh man, that's that's really. That's really a, a really what is it bold of you to assume that I bold of you to assume that I either can't figure it out given a few minutes time or have the uh, ill fated uh, modding uh, ill fated <laughs> dude I should make that a series fucking like all right so here's what we're doing today I uh, spent about ten minutes prior to the stream learning how to use these tools and let's create some really basic uh, Babby's first garbage <laughs> mod. Oh no! How the fuck do I use modify variable? Oh no! Trust me, I, I'm no seriously. I don't know how to. I am certain that that I looked into Fred for all of like 15 minutes way back when I first got the game, and I was like looking at all the tools and thought it looked really cool. And then after about like 15 minutes of dabbling stuff, I was like, this is definitely a. Uh, dozens of hours thing if I want to make one mission, let alone think about a whole campaign. So I was like, hmm, yeah, this, this isn't for me. So I just went back to playing the game. I was like 11 at the time. <laughs> Believe me, I tried my hand at a multitude of uh, like game design sort of things and realized that I'm not so much like I, I have ideas and I have like ambition, but actually like sitting down and working on a game, even with a really robust, uh, you know, toolbox sandbox is just not, I, I don't have the patience for that. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't have the long-term motivation for that. Like I definitely respect people who can put their nose to a grindstone and work on something for that long, but no, it's, it's, it's not for me. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not the one who can, uh, do that sort of shit. Uh, he's killing civilians. What? 
I don't like that. Am I am I going to be doing but oh right, hammer of light. I'm gonna be doing bad things, aren't I? Not 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 feeling super good about that, but uh good morning, Paladin. I'm glad you could make it, my dude. Oh boy, I can't wait to see how many extremely questionable ethical decisions Joe makes in his career as a pilot for the hammer of light. <laughs> uh okay. Well, we're we're gonna go ahead close and close your eyes. Yeah, close your eyes. The light. Alright, so just one more time for uh for those who were not following, uh, we're on 22.0. I don't see any updates other than the obligatory Solaris update. You know, that's going to be a thing every week is there's going to be an update for Solaris. So I don't even mention it anymore. Uh, so yeah, let's just, uh, let's just jump right into Mantle. Hey, Firestorm, we're playing Mantle today. Let's fucking mute the Aquitaine music. And let's fire this song bitch up, boys and girls. Think I've wasted enough of your time chit chatting about boo shit. Uh I was I saw that I got like three new subscribers in the last week. And I was thinking about yeah, yeah, that's that's not pertinent to this. And I was thinking about um doing that at the start of these streams, just announcing new subs or whatever, but I didn't know if that was weird or if they were even gonna be on the streams or what have you, but uh I'll think about I'll, I'll give thought as to where that's weird or whatever and uh where's the campaign room in this fucking thing? I never know. I'm just gonna right click my way around. Oh cool, they all say ready room. That's unhelpful. Uh there we go. Okay, we're on mantle, just in case. A hammer of light destroyer. Oh right, I didn't I didn't give this the proper uh I didn't give this the proper intro, did I? Hold on. Fuck. Sorry, I should... Oh, that's all it says. A hammer of light destroyer becomes lost in Sheevan's... Okay, well, that pretty much fucking sums it up, doesn't it? Uh, the man, the legend behind this, Kestrel, is with us in chat today. Everyone, make sure you say hi to Kestrel and thank him for this, uh... What must be an amazing campaign for how much y'all fuckers have been harping me about it for the last several months. Uh, cool, you want to pull up that... You want to pull up that monkey image for everyone? Can we can we get that on screen? You don't have the ability to do that, do you? Probably not. Mantle, yeah, Mantle apparently uses Blue Planet. Uh, I mean, it must. Look at all this stuff. Uh, I'll take a look. Uh, yeah, go ahead and slap that link up in chat for us, won't you? Uh, fun fact: that back that backing screen plus most of the mission music is all music that Blue Planet uses. Ooh, excellent. All right, well, let's jump right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how well uh, we capture that that hammer of light uh, extremism and zealotry. Mix of Blue Planet OSTs and music from people like Audio Network. Probably shouldn't use Blue Planet, but it does. Eh, I mean, whatever works, right? If it works, it works. Well, we got 13 people in here right now. People really want to see Mantle this week. Well, hopefully, I will not disappoint. One of these days, I'll return the project and strip out the dependency. Ooh. Always looking to have uh, mods touched up and maintained into the future. Prayer and meditation notes. Amenophis Alpha 1 of 3rd Squadron, Runahet Base, Hammer of Light. Oh, boy. Okay, I gotta get in the right. I gotta get in the right. Can I get a... Let's see. Can I do? Can I do a sort of preacher-esque or a really like zealotous great destroyers cleanse my soul in the three years since I defected from the galactic Terran Vesudan Alliance and joined with the Hammer of Light in the three years I have lived aboard this station and studied and worked and flown under the tutelage of Father Runehara I have seen nothing but truth and righteousness and discipline Every order is given in love and executed with humility. All play their roles and all are rewarded. You know, you want me to do that for the whole fucking stream? I'll try, but... It was nothing like this in the Navy. The lapcats of the Terrans were weak and complacent and corrupt. For three years, my brethren and I have butchered them at every opportunity, and I have enjoyed every minute of it. We do the work of the Shivans as best we can in their absence, 
It has not been easy. We number 50,000, and the faithful include many of the greatest minds in the galaxy. Not least of all, the engineering savants of Abderaxis Clade, whose work rival the ancient ones. But our resources are limited. We have one space station, precious few fighters, and a single cruiser. That doesn't sound like a terribly, uh... Sounds like y'all have kind of fallen out of uh, power since, uh... The GTA, the, 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 the Great War era. Oh boy. Wait, I wait, that would be awesome. If there's a soon voice changer someplace. I need it for actual VAing. Oh. Alright, you can get a similar effect with noise vocoders. Uh, yeah, that's true. This takes place shortly before Operation Th Um What do you mean this takes place shortly before Operation Thresher? Operation Thresher was a Great War era. This dude just talked about the GTVA. This has to be Free Space 2 era, right? Uh... I think your next meant to uh, Templar. Oh, pre pre Operation Templar. Okay, that makes that makes more sense. Tomorrow, all of that changes. Tomorrow, we steal a sword. Oh, do you now? Okay. Have we all assembled? Good, good. May the Guardians of the Void cut all weakness from your souls. Our loyalty is to you and to the destroyers. This is an important day, my children. Today will Sam mark the turning the point of our struggle against the profane. For five years I have sought victory over the Alliance. Some of you here today were present when I began. Most have joined us since. But for all this time, we've been as the brick makers of Abydos. Our hands have been empty of the tools we needed. No more. My agents have informed me of a rare opportunity. The GVD Cambesis, a Typhon-class destroyer, is currently undergoing upgrades at a Terran shipyard in the Altair system, just one jump from Aldebaran. The shipyard is lightly guarded. We will strike the shipyard, liberate the Cambesis, and bring it here to Runahet Base, where we will make our upgrades and final preparations. A Typhon class is more than capable of housing the entire host of the faithful. From today onward, it will serve as a fully self-sufficient mobile base of operations, equipped with power generation systems, food synthesis facilities, and industrial fabrication and repair capabilities. With this destroyer, we need never fear the Alliance again. These motherfuckers think it's be a, a single cramp destroyer. These motherfuckers think a single Typhon's gonna help them against a fucking fucking Colossus era GTVA. They it's five times more than its standard crew complement. I mean, what's that of ten thousand in a Typhon? Yeah, it's, they're they're definitely gonna be tripping over themselves like and sleeping in the fucking hallways. But first, of course, we must capture it. The shipyard is defended by one wing of fighters, eight sentry guns, and a Fenris-class cruiser. Y'all motherfuckers gonna try and take that with a handful of fighters and a single cruiser? Oh god, a Fenris. The Achaeus. So scary. Wings Alpha, Beta, and Gamma will be deployed to eliminate the defenses. You will be supported by our cruiser Revelation, commanded by Elder Kafeli, who I'm sure you all know. <coughs> Let's see. It's shortly before FS2. Uh, it has beams. HOL is a shadow of what it had been. Yeah, no shit. Breaking news. HOL robbery at a museum. The HOL stole stole a old rusty sword. <laughs> writing in Mantle Stellar. It's up there with some of the best writing in the FS community. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. So far, I'm liking the... I'm liking that it's grasping the whole atmosphere of the uh, religious zealots. <laughs> Uh, against 10 million tons of that. Do note that this is two kilometers long. Be surprised if it didn't have space for 100,000. I mean, just because it has the space for 100,000 doesn't mean it can comfortably staff and house 100,000. Uh, IRL, a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, has a crew of, like, 2,000. A Typhoon can't even beat a Hecate. Whoa. Y'all, y'all hating on those Hecates again, I swear. Uh... Once the forces guarding the Cambyses have been annihilated, I will send in the Satis-class transport Epiphany, escorted by Delta Wing. While the Typhon is an older model of destroyer, it is still an incredibly valuable asset, and the Alliance are certain to deploy reinforcements. You must defend the Epiphany from attack. Once the transport docks with the Cambyses, it will offload our capture team and then depart. Once the team has killed any Alliance crew and taken control of the destroyer, the Cambyses will proceed to the Aldebaran node and jump through. I will deploy Epsilon Wing as support. 
protect the Cambyses until it has departed the area. The Terrans may become desperate once the destroyer is in our hands. Be prepared to engage heavy allied assets, including strategic bombers, cruisers, and possibly corvettes. This sounded like a bit of a, 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 a lot to ask of, uh, what are, oh, do I even want to know what we're fucking flying? Oh! Oh no! <laughs> you want me to, are you, what? You really are fucking religious zealots. You idiots think that I'm going to be able to do this in a fucking Anubis? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Remember that we have limited resources. As those of you who have flown patrol recently will already know, equipment is in short supply, and we do not currently possess a support ship to rearm and repair your craft. Great. Unfortunately, you will need to make do. We are weak, and the Terrans are strong, but we have the favor of the Great Destroyers. Our enemies cannot and will not prevail. Cleanse the night, warriors. I was instructed to report to you, sir. Ah, you're the new Alpha 2 then, yes? You're new here. What's your name? I am Dakarai, sir. You will dress me as a Menophis, Dakarai. We are all brethren before the Destroyers. Oh, save for Father Runihara, but he has always been a special case. Now, our task will be to neutralize the defenses. Beta Wing will fly space superiority while we take out the sentry guns. Gamma will defend Revelation while it engages the enemy cruiser. Have you met Shops and Madu yet? No, sir. A Menophis. Very well. They've no true venom. You'll get along fine. When we engage, remain on my wing and keep your mandibles closed. First rule of combat is to stay alive. I know. I went through basic training with the Navy. Ha! Did they teach you to interrupt your wing leader in the Navy? No, sir. Apologies, sir. In any case, we'll be deploying soon. Stay alert and be ready for anything. Oh, why are you gonna do me dirty like this? Why? Oh. What? They get. They get real ships and I get these. Why, though? Okay, so what is my job? Just taking out sentries? That's all I'm really good for. Um, That's encouraging, Earth Mix. Uh, I beg your fucking pardon here, but I'm pretty sure I have this set to. I'm pretty sure I have this set to force 3D models. Why am I getting. Uh, hold that thought. <laughs> Get the problem over. One moment, please. Where's my. What happened to that? I should have global flags on for. Uh, oh no! Oh, none of my global flags carried over. Okay. Uh, uh, mm, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna roll with this for now, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. Akatons and prom R's. Oof. Okay. Well, I uh. I At guess. Least the tempest. I guess this is my fucking life. Oh boy. Uh. Yeah, I don't really have much choice. Uh, should I restart oh, real quick HLM to fly these flags? Tempest. Does it even matter? Does anyone fucking care if I do that? Well, yeah, I can. I don't think it's gonna be uh, experience breaking, but. Yes, I know tempest is good. Tempest is really good. I'll I'll come back to uh replaying. Okay, Mito says go apply, so we're gonna apply. That's what we're gonna do real quick. Everyone, hold your fucking pants right quick. Where's my where's my custom flags from 21.4? There they are. My really nice graphics ones. That's what I want. You, come here. Come here right now. What are we doing here? Putting this shit on. Da 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 da. Why would you ever want to disable enhanced sound? No, no, don't disable any of this. Do not have emissive lighting. Fuck that. There's so many things to disable. Is this just for, like, lower-end PCs or whatever? Enable soft. Enable post. Do not disable life shafts. Frame buffer shockwaves. Frame... See, I'm kind of a... I'm kind of a fucking noob, so there's probably some of these things in here. Y'all be like, why do you fucking care about that? Like, why is that important? Uh... D -d 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 disable vertical sync? No, I don't. In fact, I never seem to have vertical sync on, and yet it fucking... I get tearing constantly, and it pisses me off. Uh, I don't really want the 3D radar. D -d 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 sure, put that shit on. Do not run in window, window... Wait, am I running native full screen right now? I might be running in native full screen. Hold on, we'll find that out in a second. Uh... 
Oh yeah, we're running native full screen. One moment, please. Heroin. Bear with me. I I I could swear that I fucking uh I could swear that I wait. Disable scale to window for no, don't do that. I could fucking swear that I checked all of that before I loaded up today. Everything showed up in the uh individual ones, but I guess not. My bad. Uh Disable interrupting auto... I never know about that. Uh, disable interrupting autopilot. Is that something that even comes up in any mods? Disable interrupting... I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to leave that default. Someone's, someone here is going to have to tell me. I don't know either. Like, I don't know what that fucking means. I really don't know what that means. Uh, and... Save... And we're gonna apply that to fucking everything. I remember I managed to get through multiple missions with the Anubis. Max says the Anubis is the chosen chariot of the destroyers. Shut up, Max. Maybe you like flying a death trap, but I don't. Is this at least a modified one that has afterburners? Oh god, please tell me that I have fucking. Those are some second or third rate destroyers. Please tell me. Okay, so I don't really need to worry about that. Please tell me it. No! One flying death traps with no afterburners? Are you shitting me? Oh, God damn it. Only heretics need afterburners. Oh, God. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just save this and be on my way then. Joe, as an HOL pilot, the shield tech is a sacrilege. You have to remove all energy from shields and fly without them. <laughs> I hate all of you so much right now. Oh my god, you guys are getting way too into this hammer of light thing. You are expendable, deal with it. Ugh. I don't like it. This is gonna be... What, what was that other... Uh, what was the other campaign I played where like the first three or four missions I had to fly a... And Anubis with like no afterburners and didn't it also have like no shields or something or no? What 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 was that? What was the uh, uh that was Pandora's box? I think. Was that Pandora's box? Or no, yeah, wait, I didn't fly No, no, Pandora's box I didn't fly uh Anubis's, did I? I think it was was it Shrouding the Light? I don't even Yeah, for the first few missions. You had shields, I think, but uh whoop do you fucking do. <laughs> Still didn't have afterburners or shit for weapons. All right, let's fire this bitch back up, shall we? Let me get this going. There we go. Okay, I'm already. At least had mechus. Uh, had what? I had mechu. Yeah, that's true. I had mechu. Wait. Uh, oh god, I'm using prom R's, aren't I? Ah, fuck! <laughs> I'm so bone. Joe, mild warning: you will need to pause often to see all the excellent dialogue in Mantle. Oh, it's a Mark II Anubis with. Afterburners, though. Uh, yeah. Okay, so basically, I'm flying a piece of shit right now. There we go. That's what I want to see. Of course, then it's harder to see against the background. So these fuckers are flying. What are you assholes flying here? You won't even let me click on them. You're flying Horus, and what are those? What are these fuckers flying? What is that again? Is that a is that a Thoth? What is that? No, that's not a thought. What the that's fuck? a Seth. That's a Seth? Ugh. They get Seth and Horus, and I'm flying fucking Anubis. God. All right. Let's just try our best, I guess. Cool paint, though. <sighs> yeah, cool paint. Great. That's going to solve all my problems. Oh, I don't like the tiny... Oh, that music. Father, this is a revelation. We are in system. All Terran forces are accounted for. Very good. Proceed with the operation, my children. We will soon have our new home. Dude, this fucking music slaps. Prepare to engage the enemy. The epiphany will be deployed once the area is secure. Right, I don't have. Oh my god. It's from uh, the mission Forced Entry. Oh shit! Oh Aquarius. shit! Oh whoa! Okay. Can I fucking. Can I shoot at those? Oh god. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, what is this garbage? Uh, those are prom R's? Oh fuck. Oh god, they're flying Myrmidons! And we're trying to fucking fight them in Anubis? Oh, no sir. Dude, this music's great, I love it. What I don't love is that sentry trying to fucking... 
really, guys? Like, we don't have enough problems without you hugging me? Ah, oh, stop. Please. I beg you. The perfect stop. soundtrack for when a bunch of Anubis is shanked a bunch of highly advanced GTPA fighter craft. Amazing. Oh, I don't want to go near that! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Okay, I'm not dealing with that. You guys deal with that shit. I'm taking out these fucking sentries. Okay, you guys want to fucking die that to a beam? That's fine. Oh, fuck. Oh, hello. Pay no attention to me. Wow, I am merging with this sentry. Okay, this is not working. Uh, get guys! You're using your fighter guys! As a what the hell are you That's idiots -E doing? Oh, <laughs> hammer fight pilot shoot. What the hell are these idiots doing? Not their job. Can I help you? Are you tired? Do you want a nap? Oh, fucking. Okay, defend Cambyses. Okay, safeguard the Epiphany. What wings do I have control? But only Alpha, sure. Oh boy. What do we have over here? Oh, those are Herc 2s. Oh, those are Herc 2s. And Lokis. Okay. Oh, God. I, I told them to engage. They ain't doing shit. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Go. Guard, 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 guard. The Lokis are going for it. Guard. Oh, boy. Fucking dub air. No, 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 no. Stay the fuck away from the Epiphany. Oh, God. God, this is terrible. Ugh. I don't even know if I landed a hit on that fucker. Oh, the Herc, too! Get the Herc! Get the Herc! Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, there's more Lokis. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, the up. You're not protecting the Epiphany! Oh, my God. Ugh. Fucker. Ugh. Oh, more Herc anti fighter beams. Fucking more Herc twos. Just protect the Epiphany. That's your only fucking job is to protect the Epiphany. Ah, oh, go go go. Oh God, even at max engine, it's so fucking slow. Come on. Oh my god, Loki's, you wiggle too much. Come here, fucker. More Herc 2. God, how many Herc 2s you fuckers gonna send? Jesus! Oh, uh, uh. This music is great, I love it. Oh, more! God, there's just, there's always more! Oh, oh, where's the, who's the, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, this is bad! This is really bad! Oh, do we have more? We have backup? We have backup, okay. How's the Epiphany doing? Oh, the Epiphany's doing okay. Can I order Omicron to, what's Omicron? What's Omicron? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! No, please, I have a family! I mean, they don't care about me because I'm HOL, but I have a family. You're set. Okay. Destroy that motherfucker. God damn it. The revelation is getting fucked. Shit, shit, shit. I think the revelation is doomed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, God! Oh, no! Ugh! Oh, please don't. Please don't do this to me. Herc 1s? What the fuck? This is the GTVA and they're throwing Herc 1s at us? The fuck? This is some NTF shit. There's a sign of weakness. Oh god! Oh god! 
Wait, did the revelation fucking explode? What happened? Oh, uh, oh, it got the fuck out. It was like, no. Uh, revelation, heavily damaged, retreating now. May the flames of your victory be incense upon the stars. All right, capture teams aboard the Kimbises, undocking, retreating. What is, oh, right, I, yeah, someone said I need to pause often and read the fucking dialogue. There's just a lot going on. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, my God. I'm going to have to go back and read this later. This still, I'm trying not to break the flow here. Infidels approach. Snuff them out. Yeah, working on it. Yo, is that a remix of a... Uh, you son of a bitch. Is that a remix of uh, Leviticus? Where the fuck do you think you're going? You're not leaving. Fuck you. You started this shit. Uh, hello. Are you stuck? Would you like help there? Oh, you're dead now. Okay. Take that motherfucker down. Uh. Take this fucking Iolus down! Dead, son! Everyone else just left there like, fuck this. Cleanse blast from her. What? Who the fuck <laughs> are these there? Blast from her rep reprobrate apostate. Oh hey, these names. Oh, that's great. We have heretic in here too. Yeah, heretic. Amazing. I love it so much. Uh one of my significant mistakes in Mantle was overloading the player in terms of dialogue overlap. I mean, yeah, there's it's just, it's just way too much to follow. Okay, I'm going to try and go back and read through some of this really quick. Y'all were probably able to read it. I can't really do that. We're in system. All Terran Force account for. Your reign is at an end. Okay, approaching vessels. Identify yourselves. Hammer light cruiser. Your reign is at an end. Give us Kimbis to face destruction. Heretic wings moving in. Da -da -da -da. They were like beetles underfoot. Formidable. Nice. Who the fuck is Dakarai? Am I Alpha 2 or am I Alpha 1? I don't even know. Uh, sentry guns, Terran. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there's. I only just began already. They despise me. Don't mind Minkar. Uh, you're Alpha 1. There's a lot of sand in that one's throat. That's That sounds disgusting. Uh, is he always like this? He spent a lot longer in the Navy than you or I. He does tend to focus on job to the exclusion of all else. Yes. Him as well are all of us ex-military. Nearly even Father Rinahara served years ago before destroyers called him. The old Hammer of Light during the Great Purge was the same way. This has always been primar primarily a military organization. The Father makes a point of reaching out to unhappy allied pilots. Uh, War is the Epiphany is docked the Cambyses. In a few short minutes, our new home will be under our control. Keep fighting this Epiphany. The capture team is aboard Cambyses. Undocking retreating. Ptolemy. Omicron. Revelation retreated. Okay. Ah, oh, you straight dangerously close to blasphemy. Okay. So we're good now, right? We got our we got our ship. You got a big fuck. Oh, come on, really? Besides, must you sign move to a cosmic force? I'm convinced the destroyers care for our works anymore than the sun would think offensive and spat upon. Students destroyed down the way. That is our purpose. Our task to prove ourselves worthy of survival. Oh, oh god, oh the lack of light. Yeah, I don't want to do the same thing you did there, idiot. Well done, by the way. Big old dumb. Oh my god, they are unloading the fucking fury on that guy. Holy shit, I feel really bad for him. Take him out! Oh, what is that? Repair station. Why is the repair station? I uh, just new control reactors now coming online. Why is this thing uh, stop? Okay. Okay. Profane send more of their number to die. Show them no mercy. Okay. I have no idea why we're blowing that up, but I feel like it's gonna. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Bonds are on. Beast has been destroyed. You've done well. Escort destroyer until it's exited the system. Okay. 
Everyone protect this fucker. Is blue! Is really blue! That's a lot of Myrmidons? I think those are Myrmidon icons? Yes. Okay. No, Myrmidons aren't gonna put it dead. Whoa, hey, hey there, sailor. You shooting my friend? Oh, now you wanna shoot me. Okay. Well, I probably deserve that, being an Anubis shooting at a way better fucking ship than me. Oh my god, I hate that I can't fucking keep up with you! Don't look at me. Looking at me is verboten. There you go, have some Tempest. That's what you fucking deserve. Have more Tempest. You get a Tempest. You get a Tempest. You get a Tempest. Come here. Come here. Get bent. GTCV Active Mazarin System Warriors, we lack the armament. Destroy the ship. Disable beam cans if you can, but keep your distance. Oh boy, okay. I don't have that. Oh boy. Oh god, okay. Oh boy. Oh. oh god, someone wants me fucking dead. Hello. Oh, that's a hurt too. Oh god, the fucking... Uh, 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 I don't want to be next to you anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh god. <laughs> I want to go back over here now. I don't like... I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, that's flack. Oh god, that's flack. Please. I beg you, leave me alone. Ow! That's my ass, I need that. What the hell is that? Oh fuck! Oh, there's bombers! Oh fuck, there's bombers! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! No, 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 no! Don't look at my ship! Do not look at my ship! Fuck you! Where's another boa? Was that the last boa? Okay, good. Oh, dude, this thing is taking a pounding! Jesus, come on! Uh Oh, that's more boas. Oh god. Okay. Welcome back, Spartan. Oh, god. Welcome back, Spartan. Oh god. No, 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 no. Don't let them get a lock. I don't have afterburners. God damn it. Joe is flying in and this he hasn't died yet. We're, we're, okay, they all dead? Good. Back to protecting this. Jeez. Oh, oh, God. Oh, they're sending more in? More bombers? Come on, man. Busting my balls here. I'm running. Oh, I, I can't rearm. Fuck. I am running out of Tempests. Shit. Come on. Oh shit, I just noticed the HUD is different. Yeah, the HUD is very different. That's cool. Okay. Aaron, destroy this motherfucker. Oh god, they're sending more assholes in. Yeah, there's nothing for you to bomb now, idiots! Get rid of this fucking Myrmidon. Uh, who's shooting me? Why are you shooting me? You're a boa! Oh fuck, oh fuck. Nah, watch this. Joe's gonna show you some... Pro uh, Anubis strats. Is this Boa trying to dogfight me? It's not gonna work. This Boa is trying to dogfight me. Come here, asshole. Less bombers they have, the better for us. I think they're infinite. Are they? Why would they keep sending shit in? That's dumb. Really? Oh god. Oh, sitting ducks. Eh? They sent more boas in, but not more uh, Myrmidons. You silly. You silly alliance. Sending in bombers with nothing to bomb. That's just a waste of resources. Is this using old MVPs, or is that just the way the boas spawn? 
Ow, 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 ow. Okay, 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 okay. I need you to... What in that God's name is great. going on here? What are you doing? Yeah, I should probably just leave. This is kind of a... Uh... Oh, yeah, six Myrmid... Oh, Myrmidons are... Okay, I'm leaving now. Uh, there's not a bonus... Yo, Kestrel, there's not a bonus for wiping out everything, is there? I'm guessing you just have infinite spawns. Someone, someone get me a... Someone get me a, a readout on whether this is... That were obvious to me. Is, yeah. Oh, Kestrel, you have not been in these uh, these streams very long, have you? You have not been in these streams very long. I am the... I can absolutely tell you that there is nothing quite like uh, the difference between a a player's understanding of a mission and a designer's understanding of the thing that they've created. Joe is literally going to die. Okay, I'm getting the fuck out of here, because these things are just going to keep fucking coming, aren't they? Oh, please, let me out. Uh, you're not near the node? Yeah. That's fine. Alright. Uh... Okay. You fought well. My apologies. I must confess to being overwhelmed. I have waited for this moment for many years. The Cambyse, soon to be rechristened the HLD Apocalypse, is en route to the base in Aldebaran. Preliminary reports from the capture team indicate that the destroyer is carrying around 25 wings of first generation Vasudan air strike craft, as well as three Scarab support ships. Systems are in good condition, though it appears that Allied engineers have been having problems with power supply to the beam cannons. Great. Our own specialist should be able to solve the issue given time. However, the Cambyses weapon stores are nearly bare. I'm afraid that you will be forced to use those Prometheus cans for a little while yet. Oh, God. Uh, once we have the Apocalypse in working order, we will make a supply raid against Station to gain materials for weapons production. And of course, this is only the beginning. Asaya Jackson's here. No, we are Hammer of Light. Also, Nyx is here. here. Nix is here. How's it going, dude? We just finished mission one of Mantle. Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely, uh, Kestrel, uh, if you haven't set in on any of my streams, some of the takeaways I've hoped have been, uh, dialogue definitely should be reserved for, like, the 30 to 60 second breathing between, like, uh, intense waves of fighting and stuff just to give the player time to kind of recuperate and also actually read the stuff you really want them to read. Uh, and what was the other thing that we were just talking about at the end there? Uh, yeah, probably, probably don't keep sending bombers in if all the capital ships they're gonna blow up have left. Uh, cannot believe that, uh... Great destroyers cleanse my soul. We move the Cambyses back to Runahet base. Preparations are being made now, but it will take some time for our population aboard. A great throng indeed. It strikes me again just how remarkable a man Father Runihara is. Starting from nothing and right upon the scales of the Alliance, he has gathered here 50,000 of the greatest minds in all of the Sudan space. Effective pilots, skilled warriors, brilliant scientists, savant level engineers, all brought into the service of the great destroyers. Uh, let's see. Uh, I always imagine the Typhon's power grid being so overtaxed that casually using a microwave pushes the grid on the brink of overload. That sounds about right, Almo. Uh, as good as the dialogue is really good and there's a long continuous story, I'd still advise pausing the mission a few times each mission to read the dialogue. I will I will try to do that as flow breaking as it is, I will do that. Uh Let's see. All right, we're calling the Destroyer Apocalypse. It's being upgraded, refitted. We're putting in all the hydroponics and fabrication technology Abdrax, Ab, Abdaraxis Clade has developed over the years. The weapons are being modified too. They'll have a much greater refire rate like the ones on the Revelation. Granted, they still don't have the beams working properly, but that will come with time. With this ship, we will be unstoppable. Yeah, that's what you keep saying. Dakarai is a fine pilot. I hope he is settling in well. Cheops and Madu were rather hard on him. Menkara as well, but he's not my responsibility. I've been keeping out of Madu's way since the engagement. I don't really feel up to a theological debate at the moment. I will need to speak with him sooner or later, though, if only to remind him that Dakarai is a brother in arms and not to be treated with scorn. We should be performing that raid Father Runhara mentioned soon, but I have a feeling he has a different task for us first. There will be a briefing soon. I'll return to my meditation afterward. Okay. Kingdom of Armalus. Runihara. Alpha, Zeta, you're here. Wonderful. May the guardians of the void cut all weakness from your souls. Our loyalty is to you and to the destroyers. 
Once the apocalypse is operational, we will be performing a supply raid against Magog Station in Alpha Centauri. Unfortunately, Magog is defended by a formidable fleet, which we have little chance of defeating. That is where you come in. I don't like this already. A large civilian convoy will depart Magog Station for the serious note of 1400 hours. I really don't like where this is going. It consists of four Argo transports designated Defiled, two Elysiums designated Blasphemer, a Hippocrates medical ship designated Whorehouse, and a Faustus science craft designated Refuse. God, these fuckers. The convoy is defended by Leviathan and a Fenris cruiser, designated Abomination and Abominable, respectively. Three fighter wings, Heretic, Reprobrate, and Profane, serve as additional support. Uh, I have no idea why the background is empty. Noi, and also welcome to the stream. My thinking back when I originally put all these missions together was I need to make sure the player is plenty to look at so he doesn't get bored. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I think that it might have been uh, a little much. It can be a little overwhelming, but so far I'm enjoying myself. The fact that I didn't instantly get shot down to Nubis is already keeping me in a decent mood for this. Um, I'm liking the atmosphere at least. You will destroy this convoy. Why? Why must I commit war crimes? Why? <sighs> Say to wing, you are authorized to fly our four Sekhmet bombers equipped with Cyclops warhead. For fucking medical ships? God, dude! Don't just fucking blow them up, nuke them. Apparently. Alpha will fly Hammer us. Blade have no chill. Oh my god, this is fucked up. Uh, yeah, no shit they have no chill. The objective of this mission is to lure forces away from Magog. Once this has been accomplished, you will return to base and we will prepare for our raid. Oh my fuck. Your craft have been fitted with inter-system jump drives for a trip in Alpha Centauri. Please note that as I will be here in Aldebaran, we will be unable to communicate. Alpha 1 and Zeta 1 will have discretion. The mission should be straightforward enough, however. Cleanse the night, warriors. Oh god. Oh, okay, I can at least fly real fucking ships now. Seth, huh? Yeah, I can do Seth. I'm flying escort on bombers, so... Not intercepting bombers, so I probably want something that can blow shit up really quickly. Uh, rock eyes and a lot of Tempest. Rock eyes will be nice for dogfighting. I mean, they're better than nothing, but... Okay. Uh because diehard radicals. Yeah, I know. I, I hate everything about this. <laughs> uh, roll the war crime. No, don't roll the war crime counter. It's not my fault. Kestrel's making me do this. <laughs> At least you weren't told to load up your noobs with explosives and ram stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I Yeah, I'm looking at the holes. They're purdy, my dude. They're very purdy. You want me to look at the holes of the other ships? Is that... Uh... Those are some party ships. Alright, let's put that back and now I need to get my shit again. Or not, or it's already preloaded. Alright, let's go. Okay. Oh god, there's a lot! Oh, fuck. Alright, let's see. Alright. Alright. Alright, cover. Everyone's covering a different bomber. Oh. Okay, do I have to. Do I have to pause? We're in Zeta. Do you remain with us? Present Alpha. Shall we begin then? These apostates are not going to kill themselves. These are civilians, correct? There can be no innocence among the profane, Dakarai. Their very existence is violence toward the void. However, if the ethics of the heathen still cling to you and you are unready to perform this task, you may return to base. I will think no less of you. Jesus Christ. I can see you using that private channel, you know. What are you discussing? Do not pry, Cheops. If we wished for you to know, we would speak openly. I expressed doubt regarding the morality of our mission, Cheops. I meant Oh my god. Amenophis has corrected my path. I'm glad. Perhaps you will prove a worthwhile addition to the wing after all. Ugh. Because when I first released it, I was too much of a noob to actually make a mod pack, so it was literally just set missions for the BP mod pack, essentially. Uh, oh my god. Y'all fuckers going in raw, huh? Oh my goodness. Uh, we all had our uncertainties early on, you know. The indoctrination of the Alliance is not easily overcome. You need not think yourself unusual for your doubts, which is not to say that they are good, of course, merely that they are inevitable and will be overcome with time. 
We are closing with the enemy. Prepare for contact. All right, where's my... Are my bombers behind? Okay, y'all... Oh. Oh, you fuckers. Wow, you fuckers really are going in raw. Okay. Jesus. Why are you taking front and center? Don't fucking be all the way... Oh, God. Oh, God, the bonk technology. The bonk strategy. Jesus. Did that motherfucker? Did I just hear one of those motherfuckers fire a cyclops off at a goddamn fighter? I know I did not just hear one of those dumb motherfuckers do that. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. I can't. I can't tell Zeta what to do. So we're just in charge of escorting. Ah, Clint. Yes, yes, yes. Do they have beams? We're gonna have to. Oh uh, yeah, they do. Okay. Oh, God. Ah, oh, what is blowing up behind me? Okay, this is probably a bad idea. Oh. You see how the segments just cut right through the abominable, beautiful ships, aren't they? They handle well, too. Oh, this is fucked. This is fucked. This is fucked. Here come the Myrmidons. Fighter on me, there's fire on me, require fire assistance. There it is, been done with that guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Danger, 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 danger. Whoa, those are hercs. Oh, those are hercs. Oh, those are hercs. Okay. Oh, fuck. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. I don't like having Herx on my ass. Oh, I really don't like having Herx on my ass. Fuck off. Ugh. Get rid of the fucking Herx. None shall be spared. Nope. I hate, I hate it, but here we are. Oh, God. I'm really taking a pounding now. All right, all right. Who's next? Where's next? Why's next? Oh boy. Oh god. Are there more fucking? Uh oh. What was that? What the fuck? Okay. Oh shit. Oh, don't want to be there. Are we? Did we? Oh, oh, no, they sent Ulysses in. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Alpha Wing, engage. Come here, fuck face. I'm trying to chase a fucking Ulysses in a fucking set. Oh, I hate their profile so much! Good God! Do you ever fucking run out of goddamn burners? Fuck off. Fuck you. Seriously, fuck off. Oh shit, I'm out of rock guys. I'm completely out of rock guys. I think I just lost to Zeta. Ah, oh, fucking crap. Oh, wow. Wow, you're hanging on like a trooper. Oh. Oh, are they just fucking guardianed? Oh, I would have lost these fuckers already if they were not guardianed. Wow, that thing's really far away. Okay. Well, I guess, uh... That seems a little cheesy. Just saying. So, uh, now what do we try?
try to move in on the fucking- Oh, that's 171 kilometers away. I think not. Okay. That's it. Magog is deploying reinforcements. Mission complete, everyone. Let's go. Okay, then. God, this music slaps. Uh, the fact that Baytac contains most of the st strict structures of the Geneva Convention is kind of odd. Like, who are they making the treaty with? Uh, was made their only extent extant enemy was the Shivans, yeah. Uh, Rock guys not of wingmen. No, I had plenty of wingmen. Also, high wand crawler. No, the wingmen were guardian. It feels a little cheesy to have them guardian, though. Kestrel, just saying. I mean, I appreciate that I didn't have to do that mission, like, five times, but also felt like it was ridiculously too easy. Mission success. The convoy was annihilated. Magog station has been left open. The HLD apocalypse is completing its upgrades now. And all the faithful have been transferred. I'm afraid I can offer you no rest. Our window of opportunity will be brief, and we will need you to assist in the attack on Magog. Report for the briefing in ten minutes. Excellent fly. Oh. Check Dal- Oh, sorry, Ertnax. Man, there's- I'm- I'm like so wrapped up in the fucking action here, Ertnax. Ugh, oh, this- this- this definitely seems like a fucking mod that would benefit from some voice acting. Like, seriously. I just- I cannot fucking remember to check back on the dialogue. Uh, yes, I beated it. Turns out- uh, How'd the ending go? Yes. What's that? Oh. Did you step away? I uh, I went AFK for like two minutes. I, I, I finished, but it was kind of stupidly easy because all of the uh, the bombers were guardianed, so it wasn't really at risk of uh, yeah, I failing. Yeah, saw that part. Really? So, uh, and also I apparently missed a bunch of story because yeah, there's there's a lot going on. There's not really a lot of time to read it. Uh, yeah, voice acting would be wonderful uh, for this. Okay. No one here will crucify you if you pause frequently to I, read it. I, I, I know, but that's like asking me to break that flow. It's not the thing that I'm thinking of while I'm getting in the action. You're, you're asking me to rip myself out of the moment to remember to pause. Also, I'm just going to ignore Spartan. I'll make sure to remind you before the mission ends. Yeah, you might want to do that. Or, or, or just occasionally be like, hey, you should pause, and I'll try and take a look at it. But, uh... May the guardians of the void cut all weakness from your souls. Our loyalty is to you and to the destroyers. The rapture of the saints. Okay. As you may have heard, Alpha and Zeta Wings just completed a decoy strike against a convoy leaving Magog Station. The attack was successful, but even with its defenses reduced, the station is a formidable target. A deft hand will be required. Our target is a supply depot near the station. One of the cargo containers holds vital materials that we will need for weapons manufacturing. Without them, we will be unable to construct aspect-seeking missiles and advanced lasers. In other words, we still have shitty weaponry because we need supplies. So let's go get them supplies. The attack will begin with Alpha, Beta, and Delta Wings. Alpha will clear the depot area of fighters and sentry guns. Zeta, escorted by Beta, will destroy the cruiser Ashera. Once the share has been eliminated, Zeta will target Magog sensors to cloud the station's knowledge of our actions. Alpha will scan the cargo containers to identify the one we need. Once it has been located, we will dis we will deploy the Apocalypse. All right then. Despite its upgrades, the Apocalypse is not yet at full functionality. Due to problems with the power supply, our use of beam cans will be limited. Upon jumping in, the destroyer will fire one shot from its main beam at Magog Station, then come to a stop between the installation and the cargo depot. If all goes well, the Alliance will believe we intend to destroy the station and will ignore our for forces at the depot. When the Apocalypse is in position, the Revelation will be deployed. An unmanned best freighter, the Witness, has been slaved to its control systems. Remember, where the Revelation goes, the Witness will follow. Witness will retrieve the cargo. Okay. Once the cargo has been acquired, we will extract, returning through the node to Aldebaran. However, this is a dangerous and unpredictable situation. If something goes wrong, be prepared to receive new orders. Cleanse the night, warriors. I'm sure this will go all... Yeah, this doesn't seem like this is going to blow up in our face at all. Uh, we got Horus to intercept hopefully any bombers. I'm flying Seth. Okay, still got the usual fucking loadout. Um, all right, I guess this will have to do. Um, okay, so who wants to who wants to let me in on if I missed any really good juicy uh, plot for not reading the end of that last mission? All right. Well, oh, oh, there they go. Okay. 
Everyone in? Good. Flywall Warriors Destroyer will be watching. Oh my god. Alpha Wing destroys sentry guns, move to scan the cargo, Zeta crush the Ashera, then target Magog sensors, Beta Wing cover them. Okay, gotta take out sentries. Alright. Mostly this a few character dynamics, civilians pleading for their lives. Oh. It's probably good that I missed that then, because that would have made me really upset. A huge amount of plot mission too, some character stuff mostly. I mean that's still it's still good for the atmosphere though, Castrol. Don't 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 knock yourself on that. It's just I need to I would really like to be in the know on it. It's just very hard to do that when I'm kinda getting into the Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Aim is a great track. Oh god, can you not? Oh god, can you not? Fucker. That different crosshair is really fucking throwing me. Okay. Let's get back to these fucking sentries. Like not blow up the boxes, you idiots! <laughs> God, the fuck is wrong with you, morons? That's the one we're looking for, I guess. Anything else? Sensor parts. I don't know if anything important was in. What I blew up. Alright. Okay, you're gonna block the way, I guess. Alright, what's going on here? Let's see. Oh, goodness gracious, there's a lot going on here. Understood, Father. Beseech your assistance, bro. Our heretic's gone. Clear to engage sentries. My vessel cries out in pain. Magog station sensor systems have been disabled. The crew of the Ashera have burned. For their crimes, Father. Good. See the sensors. We'll be arriving before long. I have it. This is the weapons package, Father. We will deploy momentarily. The HLD apocalypse is now in system. People of Magog Station, you are found guilty of sin against the guardians of the void. Prepare to be cleansed in fire. We will not parlay with terrorists. Apocalypse. Surrender the Cambyses or be destroyed. With the might of a hundred thousand apes, the stars themselves stand at our back. Gunnery stations, engage at will. Okay. All right. Couple of fucking apocalypse. Oh, this thing getting shooted. Uh oh. Okay. Is that okay? Protect, 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 protect. It's the turtle shit. Turtle. Man, that turtle. You know, the turtle club. Protect the witness, damn it. Oh my god, this music. This is some fucking. New film pollutes the void. Ah. Jesus Christ, what is with this fucking, like, knob wow, Rapid fire blobs. What? Rapid fire blobs, what the fuck? I will die if not defended. Yeah, well, you're Hammer of Light. You signed up for this fucker. God, this music is chilling. <laughs> wow, 
Why are you just, like, unloading on some dude? My dude disabled? He is straight up disabled. Okay. That fucker's doomed. How's the witness doing? Okay. Witness doing okay. Witness is docked with the cargo father proceeding out of the depot area. Ring a jump signature through the Aldebaran node. Dimos configuration. It's GTCV Gilgamesh. Great. A Dimos. That's what I want to deal with right now. They mean to prevent our escape. Warriors, prepare to engage the Gilgamesh. What do you want me to do? He has a Dimos. Uh, it's by the void. Infidels approach. Snuff them out. Oh, God. There's a lot of bad. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Do I have to? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Idea, but here we are. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my fucking soul. That's an Orion. That is an Orion. Oh, it's turning. Oh, God, it's bringing its fucking beams to bear. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, God. Focus on the task block. We safeguard apocalypse against Terran Bomber. Yeah, well, I've also got to make sure that you don't get melted by beams. Pretty appropriate that the Delenda has to move to the music comes from running around. Oh, my God. That's a tanky beam. Holy shit, dude. Jesus. Bombers, 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 bombers. Oh my god. One beam down, four, five degrees. Yeah, I don't have time for that. Bombers are all over my fucking Typhon. Oh god, hello! Get off of him! I'm going to merge with you if you don't. Oh god. Oh shit, that's, that's, yeah, that's. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. They're like a million miles away. Uh oh. Oh god! Oh, that's a lot of bombs! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh shit! Oh god! Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go, fucker? Oh god! Holy shit! Ugh. No more bombers, I hope, please? Oh, the apocalypse is getting fucked. Okay, what's going on here? Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, great destroyers, it's an Orion, we'll be crushed! Eyes up, warriors. We cannot engage the ball and the Gilgamesh simultaneously. Engine's full. We're going for the Vasuda node. Clear the way and defend the apocalypse at any cost. Look at that ship. So many beams. That Terran abomination is nothing compared to the splendor of the Shivans. Damn it, I was going to keep my mouth shut. Well, at least Mankara is too busy to complain. Now listen, we are going to survive this. Ignore the fear. Ignore the Orion. The Father will deal with it. Focus on Tassilod. You safeguard apocalypse against Terran bombers. Get the Vasuda node. Jump points forming. Profane send more than a number to die. Show them no mercy. Okay, witness in the cargo. Good. We're just it's just a matter of protecting. We're just fucking protect the apocalypse. Oh god, they sent more bombers! Oh shit, this thing is not gonna make it. Oh fuck, not the shockwave, the shockwave bad! Fucking, where are you? Oh boy. Where'd you go, asshole? 
Okay, more bombers, no more bombers. Okay, okay. Apocalypse is hanging by a thread. Oh my god, I know, dude. It's just. It's almost at the node, though. It better fucking get the hell out. It's 18 seconds. Come on, get out of there, fucker. Dagon is down. No more bombers. Oh god, they- Oh, there's Hercs on our- oh, I didn't even realize there were Hercs on our fucking ship! Oh god, god! I'm- I'm literally holding the brakes. What are you doing? The same thing? God, fuck off. Can we leave now? Depart at the node, okay. Oh god, get rid of this fucker. Fuck off! Okay, we need to, what the hell are you guys doing over there? You're not taking that out, Jesus. Uh-oh. Get to the node! Get to the fucking node! Get to the fucking node! Oh, the revelation is fucking... Oh, hey, the Gilgamesh is actually almost dead. Really? Holy shit. Hold on, I want to see that fucker through. Are we actually going to blow up this station? I know the note is the other way. Subspace context. Hold on. How is this thing fucking... I want to blow up the Gilgamesh before I leave. Come here, you. I think you need bombs to take it out. I think... Do we? Uh, let's find out. Uh... Yes, yes, you are definitely correct. Okay, we're leaving now. We're leaving. We're leaving. He's inspecting those gas tanks. Uh, uh, look at that guy go. What a fucking trooper. Go get him, Delta 11. You got this. Gilgamesh is just vibing, dude. I think the revelation just exploded. I don't know what's going <laughs> on. I don't know what's you going know. on over there. And I can't order anyone to... Yeah, no. I no, can't. they're at zero speed. They stopped ramming it. Okay. I will die if not defended. You're fine. You'll be fine. Wait a minute. Where's where was the apostate? Lol, they're nowhere near the battlefield. Why is that a fucking okay? Gilg's just chilling. Gil Gilg's doing whatever. <laughs> well, we've escaped Magog Station with the weapons package, but not through the path we desired. We are now en route to the Vasuda system, where all manner of for foes may await us. Like Ooh, that loading screen. Like Karefa Vespia, we find ourselves adrift upon shifting sands. But take comfort, the destroyers watch over us as best. Bastesh did over him. We will survive and bring retribution upon the Terrans. Will we, though? I have deployed damage control teams. The modular armor plating and advanced repair systems we installed appear to be working quite well indeed. I don't know. This whole speech sounds like damage control. Remain alert, warriors. Our enemy may attempt to pursue us into subspace. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. New subspace effect. Cool. Did you hear what Father Runihara said, Amenophis? Mm -hmm. Great destroyers are watching us. Yes, I heard. Ooh! Doesn't that tend to conflict with your cosmic force theory? Uh, is this actually... Is a figure of speech, Madu. A figure of speech, was it true or not? I thought you were the one who would believe anything Runihara said. Dress Father Runehara with proper respect, she opts it was true after a fashion. Explain, how can the Sheevans watch over us if they are mindless machines? The Sheevans are not merely the great black ships that fought in the Great War. Purge and purge the Great Purge. Anything that purifies, that brings the universe toward equilibrium can be of the destroyers. So because we act to further that cause, we are the Sheevans. As long as we guard each other faithfully, destroyers guide our path. What was the point of our actions then? Hold on, I'm trying to get a screenshot here. What is it? Alt O or something? Shift O if you want to remove the HUD. Beautiful. Okay. That one okay. ship photo bombing you on the bottom. That one. Yeah, well, fuck him. Uh, 
Well, I heard Kestrel was working on something anyway, so maybe I shouldn't tinker with that. But just in case, what is the point of our actions then? If the Sheevans are simply forced, then who judges us righteous? What separates the faithful from the profane? It is a trial fire. There need be no judge. Destroyers come, and those who remain are worthy. The alliance is blue and sick, bursting with corruption and decadence. They have no understanding. They will die screaming and without a fight. We, on the other hand, purify ourselves. We cut ourselves free of weakness and sin. And the Sheevans return the hammer of light will not be quick to fall before their swords. Are you, are you suggesting that it's right to fight against the great destroyers? There we go. You imply that the Terrans did nothing wrong nice. resisting their destruction, that the murder of the Lucifer was not a blasphemy, but rather proved them worthy. You... You believe the destroyers favor the Terrans. Uh, we cut ourselves free when she will not be quick to fall before their swords. <laughs> Terrans were punished for their dissolution with the loss of their homeworld and the Vasoon government with the loss of theirs. They survived by an inch of their shells and on the backs of the ancient ones. They were found worthy of life for the moment, but they have learned little. They will not survive a second test. Astonishing, I had no idea my wing leader was full of such wonderful notions. Tell me, is this what Father Rinihara believes? I have not spoken with him on this subject. I recommend you do so, Amenifest. Perhaps he will convince you of your error and save your spirit from impurity. Perhaps. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. GT did nothing wrong. Remember the Galatea, yes. Is that thing actually moving now? I seem to be getting... Oh, it is. I was gonna say, I seem to be getting far away from it. Do I have to go wait for an entire two? The ball pursues us warrior... Wait, what? Ball pursues us warriors. Apocalypse, push more powered engines. We must reach now. They will be launching fire. Stay vigilant. Prepare to intercept. Head towards the ball, but don't stray far. Are you fucking kidding? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's bad. Oh fuck. Okay. The the Gilgam. Don't forget, you don't have shields. The, yeah, I know. That's why I'm kind of. Oh fuck. Oh, uh, that's a bad idea. The Gilgamesh magically got 98% of its health back. Oh god. Oh boy. Can we... Oh, that's not happening. Uh, main beam. Oh god, I got nothing. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that was fast. Okay, y'all fuckers play back there. Uh, what's that on top? Seem to be holding back the station too, perhaps they will not. What was that up there? Just a blob? Oh, fuck me! What the fuck? I don't know what that was, but I didn't like it! Zeus ba- oh fuck off! Oh. slapped by a beam. Zeus ba- oh fuck off! What? How did they sortie up there? What? How does that make sense? Oh god, okay. Oh god, I got nothing. Okay. As much in engines as possible. Fuck you off! Come here! Turning little bastard. Where in the fuck did the Zeus's go? Oh, those are Herks. <laughs> Gotta rely on my tankiness here. Fucker! 
Oh god, that corridor effect is really fucking throwing me. More hurts? Jesus. Bombers. Oh god. Oh, more stilettos. What's up? The end of that corridor is piercing through the hull of the Orion. Oh boy. Why is the Orion- That's not how you work in subspace! I'm pretty sure you should not be able to turn the bear in subspace. Because you're flying- It's a drifting Orion. It, oh my god, guys, that Orion is Tokyo drifting. Oh shit, no, who's shooting me? Don't shoot me. I need you to- Can you fucking stop? Fuck off! Whoever says don't hit your brakes when dogfighting, that's why I hit my brakes, right there. Literally will spend the rest of eternity trying to chase the fucker. Shouldn't this thing's engines be online? Oh, it's how did it? What? It got disabled? Oh, that's bad. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, is that? Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, it's turning aside. Why are they? Did is the mission broken now? Cause it got disabled. Oh fuck. Oh boy, that's bad. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. I have a feeling you might want to move. Oh, God damn it. I think, I think I might be broken. Uh, Kestrel thinks the mission is broken. Amazing. Okay. I was like, why is it not? Uh, intercept, heretic, ward off lines, attack, reach. I mean, what would happen if we, in theory, oh, they're just going to keep sending out fighters. Is it possible to destroy this? Probably not. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, just give it a restart. Oh. Well, since we're restarting anyway, let's just uh, see what happens if I do this. Mm -mm -mm. Cannot issue rearm requests. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, you must die. I like how that's a fail state, apparently. I'm gonna apply invulnerable engines on critical shifts. It wouldn't be a complete stream experience without something breaking. Now you're definitely right about that. Okay, well, let's just uh, blow up everything, shall we? Might as well. And then we're just locked for eternity in here, I guess. All right, let's just, uh, I'm just going to, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stilettos that just get dumped out. Do I have to sit through that whole thing again? God damn it. Everyone just protect this. Oh, oh god, it hurts the eyes. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Epilepsy warning. Okay, can I... What is it I do? I just... Oh. Uh. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Woo! Is it about two minutes that they jump in? Uh, wait, why is the apocalypse- Why is the apocalypse at lower health than it was last time? Is it just random- wait, it's regen- Uh, is it regenerating? It was at 32, right? I swear it was at 32. 33? What? It's regenerating. 34? It's regenerating! Okay, sure. Why not? There are slap okay. it on fresh armor sure, plates. I guess there. so. Okay. Uh, They're in spacesuits drifting around it in subspace, I guess so. fixing the hole. Okay, we need to we need to be on top of those. Uh, can I? No, I cannot. Okay. What's my 
recharge here. Oh yeah, I can afford to leave. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Kestrel says, yeah, the apocalypse is armor region because bullshit Zod engineers. Because bullshit Zod engineers. Okay. Oh boy, okay. We don't get many subspace battles, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty fucking epic, not gonna lie, but I need that I need that main beam destroyed. I really need you guys to take out that main beam before they launch it. Are the stilettos on the Myrmidons? Maybe I should you know what actually that's what I'm gonna do. Here's what Joe's gonna do. Hello, flight deck. Like a safe place to go. Oh, this was a bad idea. I made so many mistakes in my life, and this is the biggest one I've made yet. Right into the AAA beam. Oh, wow, you shot the stiletto right as it launched. Ah, come here, you. I don't have any rock eyes, so I'm kind of fucked here. More, they just launch them as quickly as I can blow them up. Shit, fuck. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, God damn it. Fuck off. Come here. Cut the, what the fuck was that? Oh, my God. I'm about to die. Holy shit. Okay. Good God, dude. The fuck is this thing faster than me? Run back home. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Jump. Oh my god. Holy shit! Bombers down. Uh, Burn says the Zeus have the stilettos. Okay. Well, the engine. Uh oh. Engine's taking a beating. Guys! Nothing about this. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, no. Okay, that's making my skin crawl. I don't like that. Oh, the sound! I don't like it! Voices I, did, in your I didn't sign up to play a horror game, guys! Watch the star. I don't like the way you guys keep saying that. Um, no. 
No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Breathtaking. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Spartan's been waiting for that. An emissary to greet us? I beg your fucking pardon? Oh, I don't like that. Prepare to welcome the warriors. Do not approach that Literally called yet. emissary. We must show respect. Oh, boy. I don't like where this is going already. I super don't like where this is going. Oh, oh no. Yeah, yeah, no shit. What did you think was going to happen? Orders for orders. If they wish to destroy you, that is their right. Hold your position. Uh, no? Be silent. There are families aboard the apocalypse. That beam is slicing through our hole. We're seeing reports of heavy damage to decks 5, 18, 24, and 37. Oh, fuck this, dude. Fuck this! Grunihara is not having any of this. Fuck that cane! Fuck that cane! Good on you! Fucking using a brain instead of being a fucking sheep. Blasphemers! Are we blowing up the revelation now? No, you've... How dare you? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, Father, explain yourself. Remember your allegiances, Kafili. Allegiances, my loyalty is to the Great Destroyers, not to a man who murders them. Know your place, I have murdered no one. The Shivans test our strength. Man, this is getting tense. That is your excuse, Rinuhara. You were supposed to be the prophet. Does make sense. Oh no, I can't take this. You're siding with Runihara? You're not? You swore an oath to serve him. He's the prophet of the destroyers. The prophet of the destroyers just obliterated one of their vessels, Amenophis. So be it, all you who are faithful form on the revelation. Yes, father. Alpha Wing, you will hold your position. Hold your position, traitors. Alright, looks like... Yep, here we go. I knew this was gonna fucking happen. Oh, oh, I have... I do not have the health for this. And there's no checkpoints, are there? Oh, I'm dead. I'm... Yep, I'm dead. I am dead. Oh, boy. Well, 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 if it ain't the consequences of my actions. Uh, do I have to go through that whole subspace battle again? Please tell me I don't. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no! I don't have any... Oh, man, this is... Oh, this is awful. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on, man. All right, we're... All right. Yeah, because why not? Joe, you need to avoid parking yourself right next to things that are about to turn hostile. Man, I was getting ready to dump Tempest. I didn't realize they were all going to target me. Nah, that's... Uh, well, yeah, I guess I can skip this part then. Hold up. Why not? Uh, let's just do that. Give myself some fucking... There we go. Look, I resupplied myself. Right then. Let's fucking do this. Rearming immediately upon downtime every time you get it. I might as well. Yeah, but I have to use cheats to rearm as the thing. I don't have a ship. Alright. Alright. Ah! Ah! Rude! 
dude! Can you, like, not do that? That'd be super appreciated. Alright. Dude, that rapid-fire turret just sounds amazing. Alright, I'm going to, just to be safe, I'm going to, uh... Where are the bombers? Rapid flare blobs in general are awesome. Pretty sure I made it this way. Anyway. Oh, you're you're a friend. Ah, you're not very nice. You know that? Okay. Does that thing ever actually fire beams at the the Typhon? Does it matter? Ah, I. Okay, yeah, no, it does not fire. I don't beam. think so. Okay. okay, in that case... The beam fire is scripted by the Orion. I see. Okay. Where the fuck are the... There they are. Let's fucking go. Nerds. Not gonna lie, the whole like subspace corridor battle is pretty fucking awesome. I love it. I like how these idiots are also just parking themselves and unloading on the apocalypse so I get some free shots at them. Fucking scrubs! It's like you don't know how to make a uh was it called a uh what the hell is that oh god okay and we're at that part all right then they just unload all the fucking beams right then all right let's just uh jump ahead shall we yep there's the lucifer the cane All right. We can probably turn that off. Oh, okay, never mind. Am I still invulnerable? No. Okay, good. That's fine. Right then. Do I have important shit on the witness? Okay, I do. Good. Warm on my wing, motherfuckers. Where's the revelation? Over there. Alright, what are we dealing with? Wow, they're all really low. We're dealing with Thoths. What the fuck just happened there? I'm sorry. What? They just j straight up jump out. Oh boy. Okay, you cannot kill them apparently. That's cool, I guess. Fuck that guy. 
Oh boy. Okay then. Well, that uh, that escalated quickly. How could they? Oh boy. Very well. Do not pursue warriors. We will seek justice in due time. Uh, okay then. Understood, Father. There's gonna be more dialogue. Turn the fire bay when ready. We will repair the apocalypse and plan our next action. Oh. Okay, things things went from uh, zero to one hundred really fucking fast with this campaign. <laughs> ah, okay. Our journey has taken a dire turn. Warriors, great destroyers are not yet satisfied with us and have brought us to an unknown star for a final test. Furthermore, our allies have forsaken us. Elder Kefili and the crew of the Revelation, Gamma Wing, and Alphas 3 and 4 have abandoned the path of righteousness for their own designs. Dark times, indeed. We will repair and regroup. Persevere, my children. The Guardians of the Void will show no mercy and will bring us through fire until we are pure. But we will endure it, for we are the faithful, and there is no test too difficult for us. On a more practical note, the Revelation also spirited away the Witness and its cargo. Great. We will be forced to make do with our existing weaponry until Elder Kefili has been located and brought to justice. The journey, it seems, has only just begun. We must feel no guilt for the actions of the traitors or for firing upon them. Their treason was their own. Ah! Oh, okay, then. Yeah, some fucking zealots run like little bitches when things get a little too hot. Thought you were willing to die for your cause. Great destroyers, cleanse my soul. How long had I known Cheops and Madu? Two years, three, flew beside them on patrols in battle. How could I have predicted this? How could I have prevented it? They all just turned on him, turned on their father, the prophet of the great destroyers, like it was nothing, as though all their oaths were meaningless, like Terrans, like faithless Terrans. And now we are lost, trapped in uncharted systems, surrounded by Shivans who will show us no mercy. That was a shock. We knew they would return, it was inevitable. The prophecies demanded it, but to see it firsthand, there's a majesty of them, that sleek black carapace, the beams were clean, sharper than anything I've ever seen, and red like the blood of Terrans. Magnificent, but they are terrifying too. For the first time, I think I feel a bit of what the Terrans and Vasudan heretics must have experienced in the Purge. But no, I mustn't consider their feelings. That way lies apostasy. I don't know what we will do next. We've detected no subspace nodes leading out of the system, but I'm sure Father Runihara is planning something. He always knows what to do. Does he? He put a lot of fucking stock in that guy. Good morning, my children. May the guardians of the void cut all weakness from our from your souls. Our loyalty is to you and to the destroyers. I have designated the star system Gethsemane. The central star is a red supergiant orbited by three planets, a small rocky world and two gas giants, one of which possesses a prominent moon. There is a small dense gas cloud orbiting the star's well, perhaps a disintegrating planet. Yeah, too bad you don't have a gas miner. Repairs are underway and the Apocalypse's main systems are operational, but progress is slow. We lack many of the necessary materials. Skins have located an asteroid field around the first planet, which may contain the substances we need. A reconnaissance mission detected a Shivan mining operation in the area. Defended by two wings of fighters and four separate... Speaking of miners... Mm. Yep, we will need to deal with them before proceeding. I mean, can't wait for the character dynamics to get spicy! Oh. Uh. Wings Alpha and Beta will be deployed first. Once they've neutralized destroyers, defenses, and cargo craft, we will send in the Epiphany, carrying personnel equipped with extravehicular activity suits and mining gear. <laughs> extravehicular activity suits, I like that. Uh. Alpha and Beta will then safeguard the Epiphany and her miners while they move into position and carry out the operation. The Shebans may deploy additional fighters to test us further. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna test you, alright. Are we really gonna attack one of the Great Destroyer's operations? That seems it is within the parameters of the test. Our objective is to survive and escape the system by any means necessary. The Destroyers respect strength, endurance, and cunning. The Shebans are creatures of destruction. It is only fitting that they would demand worship in the form of plasma fire and warheads. Indeed. Alpha One, you will command this operation. Beta Wing will answer to you. Fun fact, actual spacesuits, the ones designed for spacewalks, are called extravehicular activity suits. That is a fun fact. Also, Alpha Wing, I'm giving you authorization to fly the HLF Thoth. Thoth is an agile alarm space superiority fighter. Yes! Many of these crafts serve the hammer during the purge, and the fighters become something of an icon of the faith. Use it well, Alpha. Oh, you bet your ass I'm flying those fuckers. Cleanse the night, warriors. 
Uh, oh, okay. So God forbid you fucking... Okay. Here, no. That's exactly what's happening. All y'all motherfuckers are flying thoughts. And of course I don't have anyone extra, so cool. Wow, it can carry a lot of tempests. I mean, it only has one bank, but like, fuck, man, it's got, it's got the single capacity of a uh, single bank capacity of a uh, of a Seth. I'm cool with that. Doesn't matter. I mean, okay, like, let's look at the primary placement. It's not much better, Mito. It's really not much better. Unless I'm fucking- I like the Seth's gun placements, but the Thoth is pretty wide. It's- it looks just as wide, though, like... It's wider. How can that be possible? Let's see. That's... Uh, Maybe it's gun convergence? Maybe it's gun- Oh wait, was I looking at the wrong thing? I might have been looking at the wrong thing. Okay, yeah, that is pretty wide. What the, the fuck? The Sekhmet has great What was I looking at? Points. Was it, even though I had everyone thoughts, was it still looking at the Seth on this when I went to it the first time? Okay, yeah, that's pretty fucking wide. Uh, Anubis is surprisingly good with its gun points. It just sucks that it's an Anubis. Uh, yeah, it's it's got great gun points, but it's also a fucking Anubis. Okay, fuck it. We're just doing got two. Oh, there we go. Fucking. Oh, this is bad. Uh, uh, Bassless. Fly swift and shoot true. They will accept nothing less. All right. Bassies. Damn, son! I like the wing names. Oh, those are manticores. Go, go, go get them. You betrayed me too, Dr. I, as Elder Kapili did. Of course, not far my loyalty is to you and to the destroyers. Father speaks truth, Dr. I, destroyers show no favor. They will accept only the strong. We honor them with our attack. What a really perverse sort of fucking religion these fuckers have. I mean, they're not wrong about the Sheevans. The Sheevans don't give a fuck if you show deference or not. But it's also, like, weird to worship them for it. God, this music is so good. See, the great thing about the wide gun placement, though, is that if I'm on the right axis, I can kind of, uh... Oh, hello. How can this... What is... What? Damn it. Uh... How can this be anything but sacrilege? I, I joined the Hammer to make war against the Alliance, not kill the gods. We have a task to complete, Elf Wing. Save your whimpering for the barracks. Dis. Oh, big boom. Big boom. Well, now I'm listening for it, so thanks for that, Spartan. Which Final Fantasy, though? You played your part well. The Epiphany will arrive. You must keep safe, children. Destroyer will show no mercy. Get in there! 
so fucking far away. If it's any of the newer Final Fantasies, like 10 onward, I'm not gonna fucking recognize it. I'm more of an old school Final Fantasy guy. I kinda wanna play some of those on stream, honestly. Though I've played 1 through 3 to death now, I'd feel like I'd be better served playing the more uh, story driven ones for onward. Uh oh. Or rather, the easy. Oh, what is that? Acemas! No, 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 not Acemas! Not Acemas! But what I was trying to say earlier is the thing about the. Ah, yes, the Basilisk downgrade. The thing about the widespread is that when I'm not perfectly lined up, kind of off center, I can actually hit fast targets like Manticores and, uh. Like Manticores and Maras and shit because of the fact that I'm sort of have a leading shot. Like, you see those shield oh, players? Drop. You see those shield flares? That's because of the wide. The wide, uh, gun. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, more of them. I can kind of do it. Wow! 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 They just fucking got erased like seconds after jumping in. Yeah, see, I actually like that wide gun placement. Now, if I'm chasing something like a Ulysses or something, yeah, I'd fucking hate it, but. Uh. I don't. What is it? Uh. Okay, Epiphany now in station. Splendor Wings now merging. Stop them before they reach the Epiphany. I don't recognize these fighters. If they weren't part of the Great Purge, are they newly developed? Destroyers are eternal, Docker Eye. The same ship that purified the surface of Vasuda Prime cleansed the Ancient Ones 8,000 years ago. It's unlikely that they've created new technology in the last three decades. Might this be a different group than the ones that put punished us in the purge then perhaps i will assume the mantle of the destroyers if you don't shut up alpha destroyers send a test for us there truly is no fault in you okay you guys are on and on and on where are we anyway what planet is this this is the first planet of this star system is that the one that's actually a solid yeah the rocky world i believe it Mara is a huge, yeah, Mara is a pretty huge target. You mentioned there's two gas giants, and one of the giants has a, a moon. Don't fear Aishma. Yeah, they do suck. They're, they're the, they're the uh, boas of the Shivans. Like, why fly a fucking Ursa when you can fly a boa? Right, because I wanted to fly a shittier ship than what I had available. Red people fire miners are deploying now. Look below you. Below me? What? what am I yeah, they're green dots. One's father. What? what other green dots am I looking for? Oh. What am I? What am I looking for exactly? Oh, the near miners. the. Uh... Hold on. There you go. Fucking kill those assholes. Fuck them. Oh, oh fuck you. Rip beta. Oh boy. Okay, this is a bad idea. Oh god. Not me. How could you attack the gods and blasphemers? Okay. I didn't want to, Mario. Fuck you. I won't forgive anyone who resists destroys. Oh my god, I don't want to fucking deal with this right now. I got this asshole on my ass. Get over me! I'm trying to deal with one at a fucking time. God, fuck. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Amazing. Ah, uh, God damn it. <sighs> this is, uh, pretty much what I expected. Alright, fuck it. Let's try this again. Alright. I did not realize the Atten had fucking beam cannons. I didn't think an Atten could have beam cannons. 
I was already in the cruiser's fucking way once they said stand clear. It was a little late for me to backpedal, my dude. I had already engaged by the time he was like, yeah, you shouldn't be over there. Oh, thanks for telling me that now. I didn't even think they had triple A beams, honestly. I thought the Atten was such a fucking relic they never put beams on it. I literally thought all I was gonna have to deal with was laser blobs. Legit thought that's all I'd have to deal with. I have never thought of an Atten as remotely a threat, but apparently I was fucking wrong, so that was my mistake. One of my goals with metal was, hey, let's make the shittiest cruiser in the setting actually scary. Well, congratulations, you fucking did it. I flew right at it thinking, it's just a fucking Atten. I'm just going to unload on it with Tempest, and it was like, nah, brah. That's not how, that's not how we're going to play this game. Fucking... You can understand why I didn't think anything of charging in at it. I was mistaken in my assumptions that it was a normal Atten. Uh... The move the engine looks like a ping pong paddle. I like how they start going towards the Epiphany and then they immediately get spooked off their flight path and then just get fucking blown to pieces. Alright then. I agree with Paladin. Torrid is the best fighter. Torrid is pretty fucking good. Unfortunately, I don't have Torrid, so I gotta work with what I got. Give me Torrids and uh, Sekhmets and I'm good. Well, I mean, I would take a Sekhmet every fucking time it was available because it's basically a fighter that can shoot fucking Cyclops. Uh... I rate everything based upon the Perseus. Man, I, I still don't like the fact that there's nothing comparable to the Valkyrie in speed, even though the Valkyrie's a fucking paper airplane. Like, the Valk is fast, and there's nothing that even compares to that speed. Look at you go. Whee! Man, you're fast! 
<laughs> you just zoom. Meow. <laughs> That is 122 kilometers away. Okay, let's see, what were you saying? Uh, there seemed to be an ob sub space fluctuation forming at the following coordinates. Beta, go and investigate once father. Fluctuation, what do you think it is? A menifus? What did I say? Beta, you probably shouldn't. Wait, I can. What? Minor wait. What? Uh, Castrol? Uh, you can talk, you can order the miners? Go away, miners. Yes, sir, I'm out of here. Uh, I probably just broke the mission. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it's Chiops and Madu. Joe ordered the uh, spacesuit miners to warp out. I, I absolutely ordered the miners to go home. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Is he just fucking guardianed? Are you shitting me, dude? Are you fucking serious? I straight up unloaded a million tempests on that dude and dumped everything into frontal shields and he just noped. Oh my god. So what do I have to do just Mantle's finale is one of the uh one one of the most memorable moments. Then why for me. didn't he fucking die? Dude just took like an entire fu the fucking the fucking Asmodeus couldn't take that many Tempests! What was that? Oh god. That's so frustrating. Uh, you guys are so fucking stupid. Can you- Oh my god. Fucking pilot AI, I swear. What's in that car? Not that I necessarily want to fucking try to find that out right now. There we go, that worked way better. Probably something like rocks and minerals. Ow, Ruth. Oh, well, it's gone now, whatever it was. Can you get the fuck off of my dick? Quit obsessing over me. Fuck off. Just gonna completely avoid everything and hide behind the epiphany, I guess, because uh, apparently I'm not allowed to destroy even a single fucking fighter. Last two try times I tried to fucking do that. Uh... 
How many missions are in this campaign, by the way? I didn't even bother to ask. I think someone said 18 or 19. What am I on? Like, mission 4 or something, I think? Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Just fucking erased. Because the subspace mission and the wonderful loose are both the same. I mean, technically, aren't Red Works considered a separate mission for the most part? Uh, 16 or 17 missions. I love the sound that Sheevans make as you fly by them. That weird screeching Please. sound. Yeah, that sound is great. <laughs> it's just such a great sound. <laughs> and I never get enough of that sound. Hi. One of my favorite parts in the fall of the Super Prime cutscene. When the camera flies by all of the uh, scorpions launching from the Lucifer. Yeah. I've been thinking about the Deneb 3 uh, campaign a lot. <laughs> that was just so well done. I loved everything about it. Mostly because there was that one Ursa who was just trying to. Uh, not the Ursa, that one Osiris that was trying to man mode the Lucifer. <laughs> it was like. It was like. <laughs> it was like that fucking really shitty, uh, what was it from? Probably like, like League of Legends or something. It's like, Blitzcrank, get back! It's too dangerous! Beep boop, fuck the turret! Go get him, champ! <laughs> this is the fucking greatest thing I've ever seen. I love it so much. Leroy Jenkins is way against Yeah, basically the, uh, what he was doing. Uh. Alright. Spartan says, can't wait for Joe's reactions to Aftermath reboots flyby sounds. I'm telling Betawing to get over here. I don't want I don't want any of you guys. Don't go. I just can't wait for the Aftermath reboot stream, period. Is Beta supposed to go to those coordinates? Did I just break the mission again? Probably. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of ways it's easy to break the mission this do I need to take beta over to what coordinates were they going to over here I think I just broke the mission again uh, I'm just gonna do this right now I'm just gonna there we go I mean, I'm not going to use words like that, Kestrel, but yeah. Uh, where are they supposed to be going in this general vicinity? I think I just broke the fucking mission. God damn it. Quit letting me do things I'm not supposed to be able to do. Come over here, you assholes. Where are they? Ah, I broke the mission, didn't I? Wouldn't be a complete fucking stream without me breaking the mission. Amazing. Okay. Uh, let's just, uh, I'm cheating this now. I'm, I'm... If we knew the exact spot, maybe we could, like, guide them towards That's it. what I was trying to do. Alright, go get them, guys. Fuck it, I'm, I'm, I'm going in bold. I'm not getting blown up again this mission. That's, that's too many times that I've gotten, I've gotten cheated. <laughs> Your first run went good. My well, first run went well good. enough, except for the fact that I was, you know, right on top of, uh, you guys. Right on top of the Atten. Oh my god, that was like, I was like, hey, an Atten, let me fly towards it within beam range. Stand clear of the Atten, pilots. I'm like, why didn't you tell me that before I charged it? Why didn't anyone tell me it wasn't actually an Atten, but it was like a fucking super cruiser? Got a fucking serious up there. We've seen in like two or three missions already shooting the teams. Um, what's that? The revelation? 
think I've been paying attention to a fucking cruiser, dude? I've been- all my- all my focus has been on the apocalypse, because that's the thing I've been having to keep alive. The last- there have been two missions where the revelation stayed behind when I was told to jump. I have- to, in, in, in my defense, I have assumed that it has been basically killed in action each time, and yet it keeps coming back like Dead. a- like a bad- like a fucking- like a boomerang, it keeps fucking coming back. The real revelation is that it just doesn't die. Yeah, it, it's- it's fucking- apparently, it's the cruiser that won't fucking die. Yeah, rapid fire blobs are kind of dangerous. All right, I've learned my lesson this time. Apparently, don't give anyone any fucking orders because I'm gonna break the scripting of the mission. Uh. Oh man, I didn't have enough afterburns for that. Do an aileron roll. I will give. Y'all need to give. Y'all need to donate like 50 bucks if I can fucking actually do a barrel roll. I have no idea how you actually do a barrel roll. Like, not this Star Fox bullshit. A literal barrel roll. This is like really difficult to pull off perfectly. That's the one where you're like. Maintain it that you're maintaining your your uh, your top is is focused upon an axis and you're doing like a perfect circle around that axis. Also, why are my prom R's like red? Like, I've been thinking that from the very beginning. These are prom R's, but they're red? I don't- I don't get that. Go, fuckers! Nothing I enjoy more than shooting Sheevens! Camera of Light prom R's. Change the- change the fucking physics of it and completely change the color of the gases involved. Yeah, I believe it. How do you redesign a fucking gas? You can't just magically make a gas change its color on a whip. You just add some more red to it. Just put red food coloring in the Pravar. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. What do you mean it's not a gas? Aren't all of their fucking weapons basically like gas powered after the fucking uh, Sue box? <laughs> I thought the Prometheus was uh, specifically gas-powered. I'm imagining GTVA investigating a Hammer of Light raid and be like, they stole weapons, they stole fuel, they stole Can you- are, are you- Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna need some BC powder for this. Are you shitting me? You guys quit ramming into the fucking epiphany. But yeah, some of some of the weapons are gas powered. I know I know a couple of them are lasers, but but some of them are like are are like noble gases. Okay, I'm going to stay over here apparently. There goes beta. Epiphany's trying to get the fuck out of dodge. Deleted. Here, did I, did I just tell my miners to? No, 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 miners, you go back to. Uh, They 
There you fucking go. God, why was that so hard last time? Oh, the blobs. Oh, the blobs. Uh, okay, wait. I'm in Bolton, so it probably doesn't matter. Alright, what did I miss? Already, you murdered the destroyers already. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. How could you attack the gods? You blasphemers. I didn't want to, Madi. We only... The father. Stand down. The father is wiser than any of us. Lay down your arms. We will still forgive you. Give. I won't forgive anyone who resists the destroyers. I thought you understood, Amenophis. If you want to let the Shivans kill us all, then why are you still alive? The emissary fired on Apocalypse, not Revelation. Ah, now I see. You cowards. When the destroyers come for us, we will not resist them. Very well, then. If you're so eager to die, come closer. Destroyers. Did we just do that? Chinops and Madu. Hey. Okay, kill that motherfucker. Peace, Dr. I will defend ourselves. There will be time for sadness later. Turn to me, warriors. The fifth is safe now. We will deal with the Revelation's treachery at a later time. Okay. I just had an amazing idea. Question, Kestrel. You probably didn't program anything for actually going to the He's gonna do it. Apocalypse's fighter bay, did you? Hold on a sec. Can I... Is that thing moving? Oh, that takes... Boom. Look at me go! Look at me fucking go! Aw, oh, that's a bummer. That's a missed opportunity, Kestrel. That's a really missed <laughs> opportunity, Kestrel. You gotta do that if you update this at some point. Oh boy. Oh, oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh wait, okay, maybe not that slow. That's a missed opportunity, seriously. Uh, look guys, I'm here, I made it all the way. <laughs> At least I don't think I did. You're not sure? Isn't it out far enough that the engine's going to get weird with you being out here? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, I don't think 120 kilometers would do too much. Nope. Could be wrong. Mm. Well, there's the door. Here, I'll jump back to the apocalypse. <laughs> don't worry, I'll jump back to the apocalypse! <laughs> Jump out one hangar, you jump into the other. Uh, so, Kafili is elected to engage us directly. So much the better. While the mining operation was a failure, we lost Minkara and the rest of Beta Wing. Our sensor teams were able to trace Revelation subspace vector as it departed. We believe the cruiser is hiding within the small gas cloud orbiting the the Gethsemane star, and we have specific coordinates. I am now laying plans for a capture operation. Good work keeping the Epiphany safe. We will need the transport to What the fuck? Oh, that scared the shit out of what me. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you hear that? Holy fuck! Uh, something fell and you like you got startled. Oh god! Something fell off of my. Uh, oh, I had something up on my air vent and it fucking finally fell off. Okay, well I'll deal with that later. <laughs> it fell out of my fucking air vent. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Holy crap! It just dropped on the my desk. Are trying to kill you. Yeah, the fucking my air vents trying to destroy me. Uh. Well, if we were to survive this trial, oh my god. May I remind you that inside the hangar... Your air so vent is an eight-year-old spy. <laughs> yeah, it's... Okay. Oh, boy. Alright, this is... Dude, this is like a really atmospheric uh, campaign. I'm liking this. It has, like, cu has a couple of little... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, it's got a little couple of rust spots that just need a little bit of tender loving care, but I'm I'm definitely liking what you've created here. I, I can see the vision in this campaign. Great destroyers, cleanse my soul. Well, it is done. We killed Chiops and Madu. I don't know what I I don't know that I could ever have true truly called them friends, but they were my brothers in arms, and their lives were my responsibility. In a way, it is fitting that they would die by my hand. Woof. Fucking That's heavy. Father Runihara said we had the location of the Revelation, so I expect to be going after it soon. The, this conflict, it was so simple before. We were the faithful and the Alliance was the enemy. Is this why the Shivans brought us here? To make us understand ourselves? Force us to examine the contents of our souls? I'm uncertain that this is something I wish to see. And you're being a fucking cleansing now. 
May the guardians of the void cut all weakness from your souls. Our loyalty is to you and to the destroyers. The rogue cruiser revelation is located within a dense in-system gas cloud. I have its precise coordinates. While I've not deployed reconnaissance units to determine the precise nature of the traitor's deployment, we do know what assets are available to them. Do we now? The revelation is equipped with four high fire rate laser turrets and two anti-fighter beams with a range of 1500 meters. Gamma Wing, consisting of four Thoth class fighters, is likely to be present. The witness is only lightly armed, so do not concern yourselves too highly with it. Bear in mind that this is conjecture. The traitors are doubtless aware of their inferior firepower and will have acted to bolster it. The Revelation's inventory contained a number of items that the traitors may have been able to repurpose. Be ready. Oh boy. They're gonna have fucking mechus. Furthermore, the engagement at the Asteroid Depot indicated that the traders have opened the Witness's cargo package and have access to Meku- I KNEW IT! To Meku lasers and advanced missiles. These weapons outclass their own by a significant margin. Guard yourselves. Fuck! Uh... Let's see... Castrell laser, I remember there being actual briefing icons. See, I was wondering about that. What's with the, uh, lack of briefing stuff? Uh... We should get some. Uh, we should get some briefings going. I remember there being an actual briefing in the screen with icons and everything. Because the system for putting guard briefing icons is absolutely awful, and every time I've tried to learn how to use, it, I've I've gone so yeah, hard. Yeah, it's it's rough. Ooh. Well, if you're gonna be it's reworking this, uh, if you're gonna be working with this. Uh, definitely get someone uh, here to give you a hand, my dude. Because uh, this is great. This just needs a little bit of a. I wouldn't say an overhaul, but uh, a bit of a touch up. Would love to see this polished. Like, up. I spent an entire day doing one of Shepard's briefings for, like, getting all the icons right. That sounds miserable. Ugh. The attack it will, is. The attack will be simple. Alpha Wing of Space Superiority Fighters and Delta Wing of Bombers will be deployed from the Apocalypse once we have arrived at the Revelation's position. Delta has been equipped with Stiletto Missiles and will disable and disarm Revelation. Once this has been accomplished, the Epiphany will be deployed to dock with and recapture Revelation. Oh boy, we're going in hot, huh? We are victorious, we will have reacquired valuable assets and proven by trial of combat that the convictions of the traitors lack the favor of the void. Do not fail. Cleanse the night, warriors. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. Revelation is equipped to... Why do we have a gamma and you're talking about... Okay, that's that's really confusing. Okay. Whatever. I'm... Whatever. Don't care anymore. Hello? Oh, is this kit? Did you... Did you mix friendly and enemy loadouts, dude? Can I... Hello? Don't mind me, I'm just... <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just gonna take these. Uh, Kestrel, I think, uh, I think the mission's broke. Here, hold on, can I do this? Alley-oop! 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 I'm just gonna take these, I hope you don't, <laughs> hope you don't mind! Yeah, well, maybe that wasn't the best idea, Kestrel, because now I'm stealing their shit. Another another exciting episode of Red Mage Joe takes advantage of broken missions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well I am, so nanny nanny poo poo. <laughs> okay. So uh, so something something the crew chief of the revelation is one of ours. Ah, <laughs> uh, I have no qualms about this. Alright then, let's go! What uh, what Oh. Oh, oh. We're in a nebula? Oh. It's lightning inside that. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Oh lord, have mercy on my soul. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, this is spooky. Yeah! What? Are you. Can you fuck off, seriously? <laughs> Cyrus. God damn it, dude. I just started the mission, you're already pissing me off. Not exactly quite Oasis, is it? Delta Wing is deployed from the Apocalypse, Father. Ready to engage. Erwin Ray, we're going in. Stay close. Uh. Uh. Um. Uh-oh. 
Oh? Free space open has stopped working. Uh oh, did I break something? Oh no! What happened? Uh oh! That's what I get for stealing their weapons, I guess. <laughs> well, is that supposed to happen? I don't think so. Hold on, I hope we didn't just hit a brick wall. If you're gonna play this game, then watch this. I, I hope we didn't just... <laughs> the, fucking, the, the fucking mission was like, Oh, okay, you're gonna steal my weapons and exploit a oversight, are you? Yeah, two can play this game. Fucking crashed desktop. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, I mean, I'm still going to fucking do it. I hope we didn't just hit a brick wall. People were talking about Mantle having issues. I really hope that it didn't, uh, I didn't just hit a brick wall with this. I would be really upset if we hit it. Did it remember my, <laughs> yes. You didn't hit a brick wall. You hit it in the Cyrus. Okay. I'll shut up. That's okay. of bad things out there. Uh, okay, and we crashed again. Amazing. Might be a thing where every ship has to have all its weapon slots filled. Are you shitting me? Uh, okay. It's a crash because they don't have weapon slots? Uh. Is that a thing? You should not be able to go into mission with a ship in a wing without a weapon. Okay, well then... Yeah, you have to put the weapons back on Gamma. Yeah. Uh, you mean put a weapon back on Gamma, not the weapon. I'm not giving them my Mechus back. They can have Promars. Fuck them. Or Akatons. Oh, I'll give them, them Akatons! <laughs> Joe, you have to give them the Mechus back. I'm gonna back. laugh if you actually get disabled. Joe, you have to give the Mechus back. No! I stole them fair and square so they're mine now! Hold on a sec. One second. One moment. Uh, they don't have to have missiles, though, right? You know what? Fi whatever. Fucking. Uh, nah. It's just primary rep weapons, right? Uh, I think they need one. I think. Do they? Yeah, just give them Tempest. What's the worst they can do? Really? You're asking that? when we've already seen them effectively using Tempest. I'm assuming this is using Fury AI, because they know how to use Tempest. <sighs> Fucking Christ, I do not want to give them Tempest. Yeah, I guess I'll give them Stilettos, Maybe stilettos and, would be and then good, instantly get fucking disabled. I'm telling you, it's gonna fucking happen. I'm gonna be fucking livid. There you go. Why Fairly are there a hundred Akatons in this loadout, by the way? Just, I'm just curious. Uh, they can have empty slots, but they need... Uh, well, one of the crates that they eluded was a weapons crate, and unfortunately it was filled with Akatons and nothing else. You say that, but I have absolutely disabled fighters with Akatons before. Just... Okay. Let's hope that we clear this, because if not, we uh, we may end up having an early goddamn stream. <laughs> oh, boy. I feel like it's something else. You sure? Maybe it's my mod that shows radar icons. Yeah, the Cyrus of mod. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's it's after the red blip showed up. But we'll see. Oh, it's like crashing. Yeah. So yeah, I think it was the weapons. Whatever. 
Or it could be a coincidence, who knows. These are mine. I have Mekus now, I have yellow Mekus. Bonus objective, I didn't need to do shit. Oh my god. Oh, there's a lot of things being said, but I don't really have time for that right now, because I got... Where the fuck are you? Where and what and why? Can you... Fuck off. Okay. What is... Wow, that was fast. Okay. Uh... Oh, I see the target still lows away. Sentry guns are active. Pushing in. Gamma wings incoming. Annihilate the traitors. They have mechus. Pull... No, they do not! Trust me, they do not! <laughs> Pull back the apocalypse if you need to. We'll cover you. Revelation's beans have been disabled. So Runehara's lapcats have come for us. You didn't make it easy. Is this what you think destroyers want you to do? Cower in a gas cloud like a spider under a rock? What can a heathen know of destroyers will? Gamma's treachery has been repaid in fire. Wonderful flying. Alright, let's fucking go. The weeping of his children followed him down to hell. Ow! Those really fucking hurt! Shooting at me. Revelation, this is Father in Heart. Power down your weapons at once so you're not missing a second warning. Not without a fight, look at yourselves. Hunting down the faithful Shiva, you are no better than the lions. Oh my god, this, this just moves too fast. Is it we from whom you are hiding, or are you too frightened to face the destroyers? Revelation's engines are active. She's moving to escape. Her drives are drained. She'll never make it. Oh, Oh, f holy fuck! Oh god, yeah, that's never happening. Uh, was that the wrong thing? I think I did the wrong thing. Oh, nope, okay, good. I was like, this better not be a fucking... Yes, Mito, this is 22 <laughs> Okay, fuck bug report goes. I told you that if you go into a mission with a Valk with the second gun slot empty and call the support ship, you get a prompt. Yes, I'm, that's, I've seen that in various places before you tell, actually, I'm pretty sure I did that uh, before I even started the streaming series one time, but I was like, that seems a little cheesy, so I just ran with what I had. Um, anyway, let's see. Uh, episode should not allow him to go into mission with empty slots like that. Not sure what went wrong. Who knows? Move in, warriors. We will follow momentarily. Okay. Oh. That's the revelation. She's dead in space. Hey, look! Sheevan things. Where are we? That's the second planet. Gas giant. Rocky moon. See those structures? They look Sheevan. I have a bad feeling about this. Come to gawk at our demise. What? told us we should allow destroyers to kill us. This region is thick with them. Ah, oh, this is getting tense. I'm glad you've come as well. Your lives are going to be fitting self to face our safe journey in the subspace. Shiva Cruiser has jumped in. Is that a fucking Rakshasa? Yeah, it is. Hold your position, warriors. Assistance is on its way. Oh, this music fucking slaps. can't tell anyone to protect it, though. Okay. Is this gonna be a thing where I have to... Oh, God. Okay. Oh! Oh, it stole my fucking Mekus and gave me Promars! Take the save. Take our spirits for the apocalypse. What? No! The fucking... Wow! Eliminated! Elder Kefila, your ship is disabled. The Apocalypse not, blocked those shots. You will not, yeah, it did. That was awesome. Nor will we allow you to destroy the Revelation. Respond, Elder Kefili. Respond. Revelation, are you receiving? Uh, this is Acolyte Cassia, the Revelation. Elric Feely just shot himself. Will you carry on his legacy of treason or stand down? We surrender. Jesus Christ, dude, this is getting fucked. Uh-oh. 
Oh boy. Focus everyone, keep our, okay. New class of interceptor, some kind of fighter bot. Oh, those are Astroths. Those are Nahimas. Those are a bigger priority. Oh, fuck. Those are a much bigger priority. Pulling up the more advanced fuck. stuff. Fuck! Oh, God damn it. Son of a bitch! Come the fuck here! Jesus! Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you fucking going? Take this fucker down. He's got no shields. Oh fuck, I'm out. I'm tapped on fucking missiles. Oh, that is a lot of Sheevans. How many? Bo oh my god, really? More fucking Nahimas? How many Nahimas they got? What a stupid question. Of course the Sheevans have a million fucking things. If anyone's saying anything in chat, I am not able to read it right now. That's what Colt's here for. Uh, ah! Get off of me! God damn it. Got Astroths on my ass. I said, get down, Mr. President. Oh Let shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh, I can't. Oh, I don't know if that was worth a fuck, but. Oh, do I finally have a fucking rearm? That's nice. What? Spartan says. Uh, um. Mum, 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 mum. Okay, we're not gonna. Sorry, the we're not. Clone in the closet. We're we're not gonna question that. We're just we're gonna let that go. Oh my god, that's so many fucking Nahimas! Son of a bitch! God. Oh, so before command interrupted us, there. Uh huh. Spartan said uh, he's morbidly fascinated with dogs of suicide by gun instead of ritual suicide. Because he didn't commit seppuku or something? He did not commit sudoku. Oh my god, how many fucking Nahimas are you gonna send in? I don't think oh, I've god. killed a single Astaroth. I'm spending all of my time fucking shooting down Nahimas. Yeah, you're gonna have to abort. Sorry. I can't, uh... I cannot afford to stop moving now. Oh. I'm starting to get that adrenaline fatigue. Six minutes of non-stop waves. This is too much. This is, this is way too much. This is, this is definitely pushing. I haven't read a single line of dialogue because I don't have fucking time. I literally don't have time. This is one of those missions that's starting to push the I hate this mission threshold. Am I out of fucking Nahimas finally? No, of course not. Fuck me. Oh my god. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I haven't looked at another component of my UI in three minutes. Because I cannot afford to. 
This is the first mission that needs to be touched up if there's a if there's a rework. Definitely starting to feel adrenaline fatigue. If I die right now, I'm straight up putting cheats on and not even doing a second. Before you jump. Jump? What? Wait, jump? What do you mean, jump? Am I supposed to be jumping? Or, I mean, pause before Fuck. you enter the fight. Jesus bay. Christ. I don't know what I'm doing other than shooting a million things, dude. Bad mission design 101 right there. Jesus Christ. What all have I missed? What are people saying in chat? What is happening in message? What are my directives? I know none of this because I've spent seven minutes non-stop shooting at everything. What? 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 Terran command. Yes. H-O-L. Yes. All your command. Suicide by gun has the advantage from the suicider's perspective of being too fast for everyone else on the bridge to stop you. Good point. Rune Har and Terran command the same room before coincidence. Uh, yeah, this did definitely goes on too long, Kestrel. That was that was too much. That was literally would not be able to tell a difference between this mission and any other mission where there was zero dialogue, zero directives, and I was just shooting down a million things in a gauntlet for how completely incapable I am of paying attention to anything other than all the shit. Oh my god! Uh, so now you have to enter Fire Bay. Okay, I have to go to Fire Bay. Fighter Bay, yeah. Uh, words are right there in my face. Yeah, okay, Spartan, tell you what, I'm gonna fucking, uh, I'm gonna put a gun to your head and fucking have you, uh, focus on anything other than 15 wings of bombers trying to blow up your three capital ships you have to protect and fucking expect you to give me the entire goddamn digest of the mission, all right? Oh, Jesus, okay, what's, what, what's happening here? Uh, yes, we surrender. That's the last thing I saw. Fighter bomber. I can't imagine these crap becoming something of a nuisance. Wait, why did they say that the Nahimas were new? Like, literally aren't the fucking segments based on the Nahimas? Destroyers test you, Alpha. Destroyers send a test. Nahimas were introduced in Free Space 2. Yeah, but... So, somehow, they... They HOL designed their segments based off it, somehow. Yeah, that that okay. Oh, whatever. I was gonna say this. I like what series resurrected did, where it's like there were some Nahimas in the Great War, but they were just like not seen. Yeah, like the whole. Th I figured that was how the whole segment came to be. Was they essentially stumbled upon Nahimas and captured some or whatever's, or whatever. Uh, subspace drives. Kind of like the Seraphim. Like the Seraphim only showed up in like the end of the Great War after Lucifer died. Yeah. Bring them back online should be simple enough. Keep destroyers off them. She does approach should not be found wanting. Deploying support ship. Yeah, subspace engines. War point. Good work, Revelation. Warriors cover the cruiser and fur until they depart safely. Additional cover. She even warship. Wine press. See, I didn't even know there was a fucking... Literally, I didn't know anything else that was going on other than me chasing the Hemas. It's another new class. So back... Or Dymo, Swine Press, Disabled Beams. Yeah, I fucking couldn't couldn't have done that in a million goddamn years. Uh, I recommend we leave before it reaches us. We've reached coordinates. Stand by. Entering subspace. Enter the fighter bay. Okay. Right then. Cool. I am now caught up on the last five fucking minutes of the mission. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that was, uh... I think uh, I think this mission needs some serious attention. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Rooney Harrisell wasn't solid in carrying the Sekhmet to Altair. Sekhmet to Altair. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, good for you, Spartan. Fucking, then you're a better goddamn pilot than I am, I guess. Uh, I have to try and get in this fucking thing while a million things are fucking shooting at me. I guess I could have gone to that one over there, but... Oh, boy. Well, here's the thing, Spartan. Free space missions generally aren't designed for you. They're designed for the average player. 
and trust me on this when I say that is, uh, there is way too much going on there. We have at last recovered the revelation, gained control of the weapons package we acquired at Magog Station. Thank God. Package has already been delivered to Abdurexis Claude, Clade, and we should have a stock of Meku heavy lasers and aspect seeking missiles prepared in time for your next sortie. Rest yourselves, warriors. Our next objective will be to locate a subspace node leading out of this system. Uh, I have no recommendations for you. Okay. Uh, let's see. The thing is, though, Kestrel is. If it's just the combat, that's fine, but if you want people to pay attention to uh, dialogue that's happening or it's conveying, like, important information, it either needs to be voiced, which I know is not an easy task to get done if it's going to happen in the heat of combat, or there needs to be some more prominent way to convey that a warship just jumped in, or this objective has been complete, or this task is now on your to-do list. Uh, there's just like, I can, I can do non-stop combat missions, but when there's other stimulus that I have to be picking up on, I'm not going to pick up on it because I'm dealing with like waves and waves of shit that are trying to blow up my, uh, capital ships. Yeah, but you know what was probably the thing on those missions though, Spartan? Is that there were clear pauses for me to digest information or recuperate before, uh, before going into another heated, uh, firefight. I don't do very well in missions that are just like seven plus minutes of non-stop firefighting. Or at the very least, I completely miss important information that's conveyed to me because I'm spending all of my time focused on shooting down targets. Great destroyers cleanse my soul. It is good to have the revelation back. The new weapons too. We've been using these old ones for far too long. I wonder if Magog Station misses them. Magog. Destroyers, it seems as though decades have passed, but it's been just a few days. Remember, my assumption while developing this was that everybody would be using text-to-speech. My mistake for that being a faulty assumption, but that was the thinking. Yeah, text-to-speech is one of those things that's a bit, uh, really jarring. But, like, if I have to use it as an accessibility sort of thing, then... I, 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 I would definitely not operate under that assumption in most cases. I hope Alpha One renounces the HL of Faith by the end. I don't know, man. We're gonna find out together. Uh, hello, my children. Amenophis, Dakarai. No, no, there's no trouble. This isn't a combat sortie. Oh. Abdurax's Clade have the new Ooh. weapons operational. I'd like you. Which to means it's gonna be a combat sortie. <laughs> I'd like you to familiarize yourselves with them and make sure they're working properly. We have Meku heavy laser cannons as well as harpoon aspects, seeking dogfight munitions, and Hornet swarm missiles. Finally, we have real weapons. The poor master will show Oof, you. Hornets. This text to speech has gotten better lately, but Microsoft Sam was super jarring. Yeah, no shit. Anybody still uses built in TTS? I don't know. <laughs> I do. A million times better, no sound. I mean, yeah, in, in this case, certainly, but like, you know, I'm not sure if I need that hard. I would have to hear it to decide if it's something I want to have on during uh dog fights and shit but uh you'll have to you'll have to remember that my my that my uh exposure to text to speech is from you know fucking like late 90s early 2000 i haven't dealt with text to speech a lot since then so it coming leaps and bounds as well there's some really good tts programs solaris is a good one yeah i've heard i've or heard that like one. well i've i've watched a little bit of it and like one of the voices i didn't even realize was text to speech it was that good but uh yeah no so like i have a bit of a bias it's just one of those things that i'm gonna have to be exposed to to really get over that, because I still have a really old grasp of, uh... Fall of Epsilon Pegasi was good, too. Uh, yeah, it did have some pretty good text-speech, actually. One more thing, Alpha. I've assigned new pilots to your wing, replacing traders Cheops and Madu. They will be suiting up for patrol shifts shortly. I expect they'll have launched by the time you finish testing your weapons. You best make their acquaintance. Okay, well, they better be less of douchebags than Cheops and Madu. Microsoft Bob! Uh... 
Let's see. Just add free text speech voices at campaign narration in the files. Might as well. I uh, still recommend modders to use free available neural TTS. I'm talking about that old built-in TTS available directly in old launcher, not external software. Uh, and so Laris Darius took a shit ton of work to pull feasible VA from fancy AI text-to-speech. One's Admiral Nelson's redoing or getting customized text-speech. Nice! I congratulate you, both of you. You've served me well and persevered through hardship after hardship. I'm glad to have you both aboard the apocalypse here in these trying times. Alright, test new weapons, speak with replacement pilots. Okay. Who am I supposed to get the replacement pilot? Okay, whatever. Sure. Whatevs. Yeah, I got some harpoons. Harpoons. Uh, I don't know what you guys are. Ah, uh, here, have some mechus. And have some fucking harpoons for God's sake. Uh. Yep. Sure. Hello, Menifus. Uh, what is going on here? Has your day been pleasant, Dr. I? More pleasant than the ones preceding it. Though there are a few things that don't fit that description. These events came as quite a shock to all of us, I think. Even the traitors? Yes, especially them. I can think of no reason why they would abandon their oaths. Do you know what happened to them after we took the revelation? Father Ru Runahar has made no official mention of it. I would assume they are being held as prisoners. The brig wouldn't hold all of them, but the apocalypse still has enough room to keep them under arrest. Oh, I like that target reticle. I like that too. I wonder if they'll ever want to rejoin us. I wonder if the father would permit them. What is this? Do you want them to? No, they betrayed us. They may as well be alliance. The hell is this thing? Arunahara ought to cast them all into space. Why should we waste resources feeding them? They were brethren not long ago. What the hell are these things? Sentry guns. They wanted to kill us in Menifus. They wanted to see the apocalypse slice open and the faithful frozen space. They deserve no mercy. Perhaps not. It's the Vasudan shitty upgrade sentry guns. These look silly. I haven't tried them yet, but they can't be any worse than Prometheus retrofit, surely. Destroyers, but I'm glad to be rid of those. Shall we test the mechus then? We're gonna blow these things sky high with our mechus. This music is great. Test fire mechu laser, okay. Destroy scrap target group, okay. Upgrade the mechus by a chance, or just really shitty targets. Did I blow up the wrong group that I'm supposed to use harpoons on, probably? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Dude, I love this music. Well, at least let's see. Well, at least it looks like it cleared the directive anyway. Okay, let's say hello to our new friends. I am Eshi. Ha okay, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I'm gonna call you Haki. Happy to meet you, Eshi. Haki, <laughs> I'm a Memphis. <laughs> what sort of experience do you have? I've been with the Hammer since Father Runehara Guardians Protect and founded this cell. I have extensive flight and combat experience, sir. We call each other by name in Alpha Wing, Haki. Noted, and you are? Dakarai, Alpha 2. Good, and you, Eshi. Ah, I have very little experience, I'm afraid. I was never in the Navy. My mother is with Abderaxis Clay, and she brought my father and I with her when she joined up. This dude just straight up popped into existence. Y'all saw that, right? I once flew with the private mercenary group for a few months, though, so Father Rinihara recommended that I join 3rd Squadron, since we were low on pilots. Oh, yeah. I apologize in advance for any trouble my inexperience causes. 
wouldn't worry. A Menifist is quite a capable wing leader. Given the circumstances, I'm sure you'll gain experience quite rapidly, and don't worry, we'll keep you alive long enough to acquire it. Thank you. It was a Menifist, correct? Father Rainer, our guardians protect him, instruct us to perform a deep territory patrol. Are we dismissed? Yes, go ahead. Let's return to the fighter bay, Dr. I. I wish the fucking fighter bay was a little bit closer on the fucking subsystems uh, rotation. Right then. That was a cute little ah! mission. It is good that new weapons are working properly. We still have need of them in the very near future. Okay. Da, 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 da. In this campaign, I completely missed the vibe I think the Kestrel was playing for. Were you talking about the uh, the music? I don't know. It was pretty, pretty chill. Wormwood. Welcome, Alpha. May the Guardians of the Void cut all weakness from your souls. Our loyalty is to you and to the Destroyers. As you know, our current priority is to locate a jump node leading out of the system. So far, we have found none. However, I believe that we may be able to augment our search by scanning for nodes from near the Gethsemane star. Subspace nodes are, of course, affected by gravitational fields, so perhaps searching for gra whoa, gravitic anomalies near the star will lead us to a usable jump point. How many missions in am I, by the way, guys? Someone uh, want to give me a count on that? Uh, I think this is mission seven. Making pretty good time. Probably get probably make this a two-parter. I'm deploying you, Alpha Wing, to the vicinity of the star. You will take scans at three predetermined points. Now, the star generates enormous amounts of radiation, well exceeding your shield's tolerance levels. I don't like where this is going already. In order to obtain the scans, you will have to travel close to the star. If you remain too close for too long, your ship will begin to be damaged. Your HUD will warn you if you are in danger. Oh, oh I remember this one. Oh, okay, we're, we're incorporating some new ideas here. I like it. All right. Alright, Kestrel, you're back on my good side. Well, not that you were ever on my bad side, but I'm going to say you're back on my good side because that sounds more flattering. Also, the magnetic fields will block outgoing and incoming radio transmissions. You will be on your own for this mission. <laughs> Literally, Firestorm. Any questions? Oh, boy. Yeah. Very appropriate that Firestorm said it, too. <laughs> Cleanse the- I like that! Why don't you do that on all the briefings? Cleanse the night, boy. That little- Y'all saw that, right? That, like, slow, sort of shining, uh, uh, type- Yeah. That was cool. I like that. Do that again. Alright. So, if I have to get close to this, wouldn't it be better for me to be flying something fast, like an interceptor? Wait, is this, uh... Yeah, wouldn't wouldn't it be better for me to fly an interceptor or something? Uh, I remember Spart was not a fan. I mean, we've already determined that Spartan doesn't get adrenaline fatigue. He likes lots of shooty shooty. Look, and I'm I'm sitting here trying to I'm sitting here trying to brain, and I can't brain when when there's too much shooty shooty. I'm gonna fly interceptors. I don't, I don't know. I don't care what y'all say. I'm gonna fly interceptors. Uh, let's see. Uh huh. Message sound? What do you mean, message sounds? I installed and launched. Oh, it's like when you click, uh, you click campaign menu or whatever, and you get like uh, an audio file, like uh, you know, target acquired or something like that. Eh? I reproduced the crash. All right, what was causing it then? Was it was it was it the weapon thing or was it something completely different? I'm guessing weapon loadout doesn't really fucking matter here, but just in case I'm gonna just in case. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness gracious! This is a very low- OH yeah. MY EYEBALLS! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Oh, this is cool. What- is that- a, is that modeled? Oh my god. That's actually modeled. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. F10, is that the thing I'm already targeting? No. Okay. 
Take a scan it. Okay. Oh, it's too quiet. I don't like that. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, it doesn't matter. I guess I'm pretty much... Okay. I guess I just gotta do this fast. Bassies. Warship Splendor. Lol. I love these fucking directives. No music plays in this mission? Uh, maybe? this now that I've taken all this fucking damage. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Oh shit, I need to I need I need I need I need I no 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 I need my shields back first please come on come the fuck on man uh okay that should be sufficient Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck off. Where's your team? I don't know. Okay, you need to get the fuck off of me. Oh my god, where is my team? Oh, fucking Fury AI obsessed with me. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Come the fuck here. God, how many missiles do you have? Is it even possible to run an AI pilot out of fucking missiles that's on the enemy team? Oh my God, they're all on top of me. I actually don't know. How long do you take to lock the fuck on? God, fuck! Fuck you, you fucking brake-hitting, rotating piece of human garbage. Fuck off. Nobody fucking likes you. Seriously, what is my team doing? New challenges. Oh approach. my god, I could not get any countermeasures to do a fuck one. Amazing. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Ah, Christ. What a fucking pain in my ass. Oh, there is music. Okay. Oh, okay. There's Cool, I see we haven't fixed the music bug yet. Okay. So do those Sheevans come in after I scan stuff, or do they just come in after a time? Because I'd rather not scan shit until I fucking take care of the Sheevans with, like, no... Fucking, where is my fucking team? Get on me right now. I refuse to fucking do any... Oh, really? You were on me the whole fucking time? What the hell were you assholes ah, doing? That's bright. Uh, Keshe says these fighter spawns are tied to the skins. Fuck! He believes. Shit. Good God! Get off of me! God! Fuck off! Quit obsessing the fuck over me! Fuck off! Holy shit, dude. 
I get my fucking shields back, please? In a timely fucking manner? Oh my god. My shields aren't full, are they? They don't look full. There we go, they're still regenerating. It's just very hard to tell. Come on, fuckers. Sometime this fucking year. <sighs> there, now they have to be full. Fucking Christ. Uh, let's go. Everything was in shields, Paladin. It was just taking forever. do you fucking have? Okay, you guys just focus fire that one. I will fuck. Oh my Christ. Jesus, fuck. Fucking Wordswood. I swear to God, Fury AI pisses me off so much. How aggressively retarded it is. Look at this. You're not flying. You're literally just fucking... D d get off of me! You're literally beehiving. Uh, Paladin, that's afterburner flaps. Jesus. Ab flaps? Ab flaps. Okay. Going for point three. Uh, they could be destroyed, but it doesn't affect like whether or not they're destroyed. You can still use your afterburners. Okay, last one. I think what happened last time is the issue was I was dealing with everything that spawned all at once, and there was like a million things. Yeah. Got to take your time on this one. Oh, shit. oh, I fucked up! Fuck! 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 Uh, come on! Get the fuck out of- Oh my god. Everyone destroy. Why am I still fucking in radiation? Holy Christ on a cross! I- fucking went back exactly where I was last time and not taking damage. I'm going to refuse to stop. I'm just, y'all destroy that. Uh, you got a boss fight now. Uh, fucking Christ. Not my fucking problem. Six kilometers away. Yeah, like I said, it's not my fucking problem. I'm just gonna slip through and approach you. That one, kill that one dead. Oh. Kill that one dead. Okay. Come on, fucker. Let's play. They disabled? I don't know. I don't care. I'm gonna kill him. Yes, yes he is. So they're just shooting at a permanently fucking guardian disabled ship. 
keeping them distracted, I guess. All three of them are disabled, I think. Works for me. I thought that dragon was going to do a 180 and charge you for a second. Alright then. Alright! Excellent. Return to Apocalypse. <laughs> I hate everything about that directive. <laughs> Let's return to the Apocalypse. <laughs> I don't wanna! That sounds terrible. Why would I ever want to do that? You just leave your friends behind. I guess so. It's all right. I don't, it, it's the end of the hey, mission. Well, tonight we're having <laughs> we're having toasted Vesudin for dinner. I guess so. I like I like how instead of having Petrarch for this, your kills qualify you as an ace. Excellent. I didn't even know that I got things in this. Oh, shiny. Nice. Unfortunately, your scans yield no results. This is regrettable, but I'm glad your wings survived the Shivan attack. Did they, though? I've devised another plan to find the location of an escape node. Rest yourselves, warriors. Ugh. You always get rank and ace progression. Well, oh, on this one specifically? Eh? I didn't get rank progression, though. Ace should be based on number of kills, I thought. Pretty much all campaigns uh, do that. Oh, oh, you're talking about in gen- Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I forgot, yeah, it doesn't necessarily have- This one disabled the audio files and changed the text. That's which is good, nice. because it's really jarring when fucking Petrarch jumps in when no one fucking asked him to. Uh, <laughs> it's- It's M-dumping, so I think the engine's probably falling- Why do we have a Terran on our sacred vessel? An engine's probably following a null pointer and losing its shit. Uh, nothing quite like chasing null pointers. Oh man, my favorite fucking crashes on any sort of application are uh, memory access violations. Those are always fun. Uh, great destroyers cleanse my soul. Ishii and Haki have proven to be adequate pilots. They both take instruction well. Haki. I should probably just. Someone, someone put the proper pronunciation up here somewhere like a while ago uh, where is that where is it can't find it okay that's taking too long I'm just gonna keep going with hockey okay hockey seems quite loyal to father Rooney Hara which is good as she could use more confidence he possesses a great deal of skill considering his experience but that will come with time I love how they keep saying the Shivans are testing them instead of admitting the truth that they're just after their lives. I mean, hey man, that's what fucking living beings do. They they rationalize and especially people who are crazy about uh some bullshit fucking dogma or whatever. They just keep coming up with all the bullshit they can to rationalize their actions. Hacka. Hacka? Really? Hacka? It just sounds like hacker, but with an accent to it. A hacka. Whatever Father Runehara's new strategy is, I hope it succeeds. <laughs> if we cannot find a way out of the system, I fear it is only a matter of time before Apocalypse falters before the Destroyer's test, before we succumb to Apocalypse. May the Guardians of the Void cut all weakness from your souls, warriors. Our loyalty is to you and to the Destroyers. Our objective today is to recover vital navigation data from the computer systems of a Shivan destroyer. Oh, I don't like where that's going. The craft in question is a previously unseen class of warship, designation Ravana. No! No! Our target, the SD Word, was discovered by reconnaissance flights two days ago. It is holding position in open space, escorted by a battle group consisting of one Moloch class corvette, the SCV host, and two cane cruisers, water and wine. Oh my god, why are we doing this? We're, we're approaching a Ravana that has two canes and a Moloch on its ass, but why? Why would you do that? Why would you ever want to do that? Oh no. Could be worse. Uh, how? Could how be could... a little oops. Oh yeah, because you know, that's that's the issue, is the cruisers, right? Not the fucking Ravana or the Moloch. That's, that's what I was concerned about. Thank you for that, Colt. It is my hope that the databanks <laughs> of the word contain information regarding locations of subspace nodes in the system. In order to obtain this information, I've asked Abderaxis Clade to refit a Horus class interceptor with a radar resistant hull coating 
and sensor jamming equipment. These stealth features will make it difficult for the destroyers to achieve target lock on the fighter and allow its pilot to scan the word and recover the data we need. I like I like how they're talking about the data banks of 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 any Sheevan vessel like it's something that could be like red or cut like they're storing data banks like you or I would it's like motherfucker I'm pretty convinced that their goddamn ships are some sort of quantum anomaly and they exist in some sort of reality bending state fucking Sheevans ain't Sheevans ain't playing with data banks and shit Sheevans are Sheevans and that's all they are <laughs> uh, the stealth craft will be flown by Kakra of First Squadron's Omicron Wing under designation Omega-1. Uh, let's see if Seven Stars is fucked this time. Kestrel, you're really, you're really giving me a, giving, really giving me a lot of confidence here before I've even gone into the mission. Thank you for that. All right, this will be positively intriguing. By the same designations as the. One thing I remember about this mission is that it was intense and it was fun. Uh, I do like intense. Remainder of the forces deployed in the sortie will perform a diversionary strike against the Word's battle group. Alpha, Beta, and Gamma Wings will lead the attack in the Revelation, providing fire support. Oh, wait, I'm not doing the stealth mission then? Wings Delta and Zeta and Amun bombers will be staying by Alpha. Your task is to plot jump coordinates for the, their strikes against the That's cruisers. actually refreshing. Optimal locations for jump calculation will be marked as waypoints in your tactical view. Approach these points and center them in your reticle. Once you have scanned one of these points, you will be able to call on the corresponding bomber wing from your reinforcements menu. Interesting. Okay. Uh, wait, we're not flying a stealth ship? Yeah, right. We're covering a stealth ship. That's, uh... Oh boy. Da, da, da. Wings Delta, Zeta. Uh. Okay, so Delta and Zeta are my reinforcement wings. Attempt to lure away or eliminate the cruiser's fighter escorts before you call in the bombers, Alpha. However, keep in mind the cruiser's main beam weapons have an effective range of 3,000 meters. Ensure that the water and the wine have been destroyed or disarmed before they have an opportunity to inflict damage against the Revelation. Ugh. Okay, a lot of, lot of balls to juggle here. Uh, attempt. Okay. Yeah. Fucking. So basically, I have to, I have to, I have to hit waypoints and summon my bombers, but I also have to make sure that there's not heavy fighter traffic on top of the waypoints. But I also have to do something about the water and wine before they start blowing holes through the revelation. This is okay. Once cruisers have been eliminated, Delta and Zeta will assist you in finishing off the host. Omega-1 will be deployed while you engage the battle group. She will attempt to scan the navigation systems of the word. If her scans are not complete by the time you've destroyed the three Sheevan warships, I may be required to deploy the Apocalypse in order to keep the destroyers occupied. If this occurs, you will be tasked with destroying the word's main beam weapons. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, lots of beams going to have to be blown up. No questions? Very well. Choose your loadouts and report to the launch bay. Cleanse the night, warriors. Okay. Acquire nav data, ensure survival of allied ships, destroy word battle group. Okay, what am I flying? Flying Seth's probably best for this. Oh boy, is everyone flying with Mechus? Good. Uh, I'm gonna need some Tempests. You need lots of Tempests. This is Alpha Wing in charge of taking out some fucking beam cannons, probably. All right, let's uh, let's do our best. Okay. This is the Revelation Father in Hara. We've exited subspace. Hostile battle groups with individual range. How can we even be sure there are any nodes leading out of this system? This system contains no jump nodes. How did the destroyers come to be here? Uh huh. Their origins have always been a mystery. Perhaps they simply grew here. Oh, this music. Regardless, this is our best option. If there are no jump points, so be it. But until we find that the case, we should devote our energies to searching. Alright. Let's fucking go! Would this craft turn to intercept she and cruisers at 10,000 meters? Oh boy. Destroyer's attention, now deploying Omega-1. Oh, go Omega, go! Uh, oh boy, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, he's fucking dead. Oh, no, 
No, no, no, no. Okay, I didn't realize that they were that far out. Don't worry about it. Bombers have arrived and are launching ordnance. Let's fucking go! Machines are about to try to kill you with kindness. Yeah, they fucking are. Let's fucking go! Alright. Oh, oh no! Oh my god! Okay. Holy right shit. to the jaw. Fucking Christ. Alright then. Alright. Oh fucking Delta Zeta, please! Fucking get rid of it! Good god, man! Okay. Uh, that's the old Moloch model. That fucker. Wow! Look at this poor or Moloch! soon to be was. Oh, that's black. Ow. The soon to be was, yes. Alright. Got here. Alright. We have eliminated the cruiser one. Corvette's down. We've destroyed the enemy battle group, but Omega One has not yet completed her scans. The word is currently on approach. How shall we proceed? The apocalypse will arrive shortly. Destroy the word's main beams. Got it. Yep. How did Mara's know? I know. I got everyone on that first beam, so I got. I've got Alpha, Beta, and Gamma engaging the enemy. Oh, it's turning. Oh, Lord, it's turning. I saw sands. Oh, boy. Off of me, motherfucker. Motherfucker, you want to play games with me? You fucking spider piece of shit. Come on. Oh, I got dragons now. Oh god, the bombs! I'm playing too oh, little- no. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, that's bad. Oh, fuck. Remember when it said it could be worse? I, I think it got worse. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! At least they're using s -roads. Oh god, everyone protect. Oh, that's a lot of bad. Okay, I gotta leave you guys to that. Uh, I think those beams are facing you. Oh, they are no longer. Oh, fuck! Ah! You're moving. Oh fuck! Oh, that's oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. God, why do you have perfect fucking precision? Jesus, fuck, dude! Why are you rapid fire? Oh my Christ! What is the range? 
What is the range? S Jesus Christ, dude! Are those triple A's or are they fucking anti caps? Good fucking god. Those are triple A's. Well, fucking Christ, they apparently have capital range. The fuck, man? Holy shit. Didn't seem to do too much damage. To I the had to have been outside of 1500 meters the by that point. I was max fucking throttle for 15 seconds straight. Like, Jesus Christ. I refuse to believe I was within 1500 range that entire time up to my death. Oh my god. Is that SAAs have no chill? Fuck off, dude. Seriously. I don't know, dude. I just know that Fury AI is a piece of fucking shit and I hate it. It's like, I appreciate it being more aggressive than vanilla AI, but I hate that it's basically autistic. Avoid the beam and you will get it. Impossible to avoid the beam. So impossible to not get hit. I would have had to hide behind the fucking uh, thing I'm supposed to defend. Alright. There is a 15 kilometer range AA beam version of the files? Huh? What the fuck? That's terrible. That sounds fucking awful. Rip oh, game. Oh, get rid of this fucking thing. This is easier to take out. Avoid the meme and you won't get hit. Cyclops look like Helios. Get off of my fucking bomber. Get off my fucking bomber! I was saying because most of the weapons are uh, just gonna be retextured, which is pretty cool. Good God, where's the fucking main beam? Oh my God, how's this thing fucking turned? There it is. Okay. Huh? I thought L reds were. Are you just saying cheating beams in general like this? I know L reds have like no cool though. God I love this music. Oh fuck! I'm turned the way wrong way to try and avoid that. Oh shit, fucking Christ with the throttle drop, stop! Come here, fuck face. Come here, fuck face. Come here, fuck face. And this is why I fucking hit the brakes. That, this right here is why I hit brakes. Don't ever, any one of you ever dare tell me not to hit the brakes unless you want me to spend five minutes chasing a dragon in circles. Precisely why I hit the brakes. It works for them to throttle drop. I have to do the fucking same. Oh my Christ, where are you? I 
There we fucking go. Alright. Alright, protect the fucking apocalypse. Because physics. That's an S-Bath that's shooting. Okay, I need... What the fuck is shooting me? Wow, fuck off! Fuck off with the blobs. Ah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I love the beam charge of sounds from the planet. Dude, Jesus, how does that thing fucking accelerate so quickly? I know, dude. I fucking can't leave the dragons alone. You haven't noticed that they're shredding me. If I go for the bombers and ignore the dragons, I'll be fucking dead. Stop moving. Stop fucking doing that thing you're doing right now. I've got everyone else trying to defend this fucking thing. I have to... Oh my god, seriously? Now what? There's a tour of these. Can you fucking get hit by my fucking... Jesus fuck Christ. Oh my god! Oh shit! Uh, uh GTFO. Get the fuck out of here. Leaving. Fuck this. Fuck off. Christ. Okay then. Uh, okay. Uh, that's the problem with using track from whatever follows four centuries that the mission is timed <laughs> exactly as long as the track. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's basic. Dude, you st like, I don't understand how things are capable of having such ridiculous ridiculous fucking acceleration. Dragons will hit a full stop, turn 180 degrees in three quarters of a second, and then go full fucking throttle. It's like impossible to dogfight with them. And that Torvi, it's like, I'm, I'm shooting my Tempest directly at the lead indicator, and then it either throttle drops or changes direction. And it's like, I am unloading like literally 30 Tempests and none of them are hitting. It's very Dragons frustrating. Dragons are hardcore. <laughs> Sheevans don't care about G's. Yeah, no they don't. Maximum fucking. See, Ertnax gets it. Now you're getting to know me, Ertnax. They have no blood. Ugh. Excellent work. Despite difficulty in performing the scan, we've obtained the data we need. Abderaxis Clade is set to analyzing the data, and they tell me that the results look promising. Perhaps at long last we have made real progress toward our escape. Uh... <laughs> 
Man, you guys haven't been around long enough if that shit seems novel to you. You're only just now getting to know me. I got some, uh... I have no control over what comes out of my mouth when I'm angry. Or frustrated, or, or in the zone. <laughs> It is just a it is just a an endless stream of obscenities in no seemingly coherent fashion. May the guardians of the void cut all weakness from your sides. Our loyalty is to you and to the destroyers. What did you say? Col oh, gates of Zion. Uh, feel like we're more at the gates of hell. Abd Abdaraxis Clay has finished analyzing the data we recovered during the engagement with the Word. There are several accessible nodes in the Gethsemane system, however, nearly all of them are too unstable for our ships to safely use. If only we could Sheevan. If only we could Sheevan. Sheevan is now a verb. Only one node located near the edge of the system appears both large and stable enough to accommodate the apocalypse, but the readings indicate strange gravitic, gravitic anomalies. Joe's mouth is just Slavic level of fences. I don't know what that means, but but it's giving me a new new profound understanding of the uh, of the Slavic languages. Uh, let's see. Your wing will jump to location and know and investigate. Any questions? Uh, yeah. Is this gonna end in some weird uh, cosmic fucking transcendental existential horror? Uh, I don't know why Mito's laughing, but I'm assuming it has something to do with the Slavic level offenses thing. Uh, cleanse the night warriors. I have a really bad feeling about this mission. Uh, my ex used to get upset whenever I used profanity. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh man. Fucking. Okay, so like, if you. If you know someone, you're like you're friends with someone, or you're in a relationship with someone who's like language, or 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 just like scolds you like a mother scolds her child or something. Anytime you use quote unquote bad words, here's the thing: there's no such thing as bad words, okay? Like we use language to suit our purposes, and every word in the language fits. A, a goddamn reason or purpose. These are the words that we use to express joy, anger, frustration, sadness, and we use it to vent these emotions so that we don't grab a tire iron and beat the shit out of someone, okay? I think it is very important to vent your frustrations verbally so that you don't repress them and turn them into actions. What am I flying? Thoughts? I'm flying thoughts. Okay. Well, Joe, I'm Slavic. I'm in this picture and I don't like it. Too bad you guys have only fuck and shit in English and Slavic languages. The palette of swears is like ten times more abundant. I express love with fucking. I express sadness with fucking. I express tire right on the side with fucking. It's fucking all the way down. Yeah, her next gets it. Uh, fucking hell. By the way, that was not my own, uh, that was not my own witty little, uh, rant. I stole that directly from, uh, Lewis Black. And if you don't know who Lewis Black, you need to, who Lewis Black is, you need to go look him up. Probably one of my favorite comedians of all time. Love Lewis Black. Spartan's wondering if you're gonna stream the new Lego Star Wars. Will you ever stream? What? What kind of a question is that? What kind of out of left field question was that? I, maybe I don't know. What does that What does that have to relate to anything we were talking about? Joe, I actually told her something very similar to what you just said. Well, good. Uh, what was her response? Uh, I don't like this already. Uh, what? 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 What is happening here? What? That note is fucked. That's your best way of getting out too. I don't like that. Oh fuck. Oh, that was a mistake.
I was in awe when I first saw this. What's that, the note? Yeah, it's I, like, it's kind of really cool. cool. It's, it is cool. It's also concerning. Oh my god, that sound though is like throwing off my, the sound mixing, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, Muffled. Everyone just blow up everything on a piece of shit, I have no idea. This thing is not putting up a fight at all, okay. Is this thing broken? I think this guy is broken. Oh, uh, what, what? Okay, okay, bye. Okay, I love you, bye bye. I really don't like this. Uh, uh unusable. This is really cool, though. How did you accomplish this with all the little mini jumps? Oh, uh, I don't like this anymore. Jump into the scary node joke. No, I don't wanna. Oh no. Okay. Do I have to time it? <laughs> I think you can just jump. Uh, also, she even the boom. Is jump not Alt J? There we go. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. She f said she felt that I could express my frustrations better than the way I was choosing to, but she would get annoyed when I expressed frustration, so I think she just wanted me to not talk. Yeah, sounds like it's a good thing that she's your ex. <laughs> so, she wants you to express your frustrations, but then doesn't want you to express your frustrations. Uh, everyone intact? That was a messy jump. We're coming up on the exit point. Be no, ready not like that. No, not like that. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Ah! Um, I beg your fucking pardon? What? 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 What are you guys doing? Stop doing that. What in God's name? Did we just go through a gnosis? A manifest? I think I know why Node was behaving so strangely. Look behind us. What? What is that? It's enormous. Astonishing. If I had to guess, I think this is some kind of subspace node control device. Who could have built it? It doesn't look Sheevan. Oh, I think these hulks are remains of ships that almost made it through from the other side. If Sheevens had built the portal, surely that wouldn't have happened. What if they built the portal and entered Githsamine, but it malfunctioned? They were trapped. I suppose that is possible. How these fuckers never heard of the ancients? Still, as Ishii pointed out, does not appear to be Sheevan technology. How do they not know about the Gnosis and the... the the ancients, if they test approaches, if they were around, or, this is Free Space Two era. Oh wait, no, never mind. The Gnosis was discovered in uh, Free Space Two. Okay, never mind. There's no sound. Rip music. No, there's no, there's. Listen, there's a very faint. Oh well, now you can't hear it. It's a very faint white noise, ambient track going. It's very unnerving. Also, why do my weapons keep fucking switching from, from... I had Mekus, why do I have Prom R's now? Kestrel, are you using presets instead of inheriting previous missions loadout? That's not cool, dude. A bit sluggish. Oh, fuck. I have the Prometheus R and I also have Rock Eyes. And I'm also in... Sets, which I'm pretty sure I was in thoughts before. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, dude. Like, I have a completely different ship and weapon loadout than I had before. Can you, can you, can you come back here? Can everyone kill this? I'd like everyone to kill this now, please. I'm gonna deal with this asshole. Letting you fucking orbit around me, asshole. God damn it. Jesus! Will you just fucking die already? Fuck off. You like that asshole have you seriously still not killed oh my god can you please what is the rest of my fucking team ah oh, boy is he yeah he's disabled over here of course this must be something that doesn't reliably kill. Uh, we've noticed if it happened during testing. What the hell is that? I believe we finished them. Look, something is happening with the portal. Sensors indicate the portals gave him off more energy even before the note is stabilized completely. This could be our way out. Let's turn to the apocalypse to form Father Runiha. Runihara. But yeah, what were they talking about them being sluggish? Uh, yes, they're not in very good condition either. Maybe they came through from Gethsemane, but nothing else survived trip and cut off from large ships to give them more as they simply weighed here. I believe we finished them. Okay. What is all this other shit scattered around? Uh, a seraphim's out there? Fucking just blow them up, I guess. Okay, why not? This is kind of unnerving, not gonna lie. Can't blow up more rocks. Nope. No, I cannot. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. This is a, this is gonna be it for this week anyway. Uh... Why are an alien race at the GTBA name after Egyptian stuff naming things after locations in Israel? Good question. But best not to dwell on that. There's about six more missions. Alright, just enough for uh, next time. Wonderful work, warriors. We have found our exit strategy. Abderaxis Clade examined your flight records, and they believe that the strange subspace portal you discovered was constructed by the ancients. It appears to be badly damaged and was only partially operational when you jumped through. For unclear reasons, the device seems to have responded to your presence and reactivate itself. Based on the events you witnessed, it appears that the gate was designed to stabilize or even create jump nodes. I have designated the system located on the other side of the node Eden. It appears to be devoid of any major Shivan presence. Once there, perhaps we will be safe. Rest yourselves. Our exit operation will begin in six hours. So, that's a good stopping point for this week. Uh, this is Mantle by Castrelius. Uh, I really... Uh, two missions. Okay. Uh, two missions. What? Uh... I thought you said there were like... 16. There's no way I'm on number 14 already. Am I? Uh, if I only have two left, I mean, I guess I might as well push through? Uh, One of them is on the long side, if I remember right. Uh, how long are we talking? Because I pushed almost an hour last time. Ugh, fuck it. Fuck it. We're gonna go for it.
Henrik's really fucking excited because he's going to be doing AFR. Alright, let's fuck it. Let's go for it. Great destroyers, cleanse my soul. We're close, close to escaping from this nightmare. Very soon now the destroyers will be satisfied with us. I perform the weighing of cloth with Elder Mesk... Oh. Meskinet... Mesk... Meskinet, after the mission through the node, perhaps if my ancestors watch, staring through the roofs of their graves with empty eyes, they will be pleased with me. The apocalypse has been well concealed by the blue gas giant near which she was stationed, but once we approach the node, we will be visible to all. Father Runihara has been downplaying the possibility for the sake of the warrior's morale, but I am nearly certain that the enemy will launch a full-scale attack against our battle group. The enemy... When did I begin to think of the great destroyers as the enemy? Welcome, warriors of the Hammer of Light. May the Guardians of Void cut all weakness from your souls. Our loyalty is to you and to the Destroyers. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay. We have located a passage out of the Gethsemane system. It is a subspace node, now stable on the edges of the system. On the other side of this node, located in another uncharted system, is a subspace portal device. This device was evidently constructed by the ancients and is badly damaged. Our, our objective is to reach this node, travel through it, and cut off Shivan Pursuit. The plan is as follows. We make our run for the node under heavy fighter cover. Once through, the apocalypse will open fire and destroy the portal, while the revelation in our fighter force will hold off any Shivan craft attempting to follow us. Understand that the destroyers are aware of the location of this node and will be watching it. If they wish to destroy us, they will be capable of sending every craft in their fleet to do so. Alpha Wing, due to your excellent record of service under extreme circumstances, I have placed your wing in command of the fighter craft participating in this operation. Furthermore, I've authorized you to make use of our wing of Sekhmet Fighter Bombers. Nice! The Sekhmet is an advanced hammer of light design constructed during the Great War using Shivan technology. It is a swift, agile, and heavily armed. It is swift, agile, and heavily armed. Use it well. Fuck yeah, Sekhmet mission! Alright. Like the Shivans won't follow them through the node, right? I think it's the last mission of Mantle I've played. Alright. Cleanse the night, warriors. Oh, there it is. There it is, boys. Oh, look at all the harpoons. Ugh. There we go. You get harpoons, and... Let's fucking go! Alpha Wing successfully launched. Firing up weapons, beams online, turrets online, all systems functioning normally. Let's fucking go! Standby Alpha, now launching additional wings. The old hammer is chance about this crap. Heavy, durable, but with plenty of speed, the weapons capacity is excellent. Get on my wing, motherfuckers. Second squadron on station. First the apocalypse. Fourth squadron is now awaiting orders. Form on the apocalypse and destroy a send craft attack they will be targeting or defend that ship at all costs. These are there are three Shivan cruisers guarding the node. We will engage once we are in range. Alright. Us. We have strike craft inbound. All right, let's fucking go. Ten shivan wings, four of bombers, and six of fighters. We got nephilims. All right, nephies. God, everyone get the fuck off of me! Uh, 
Oh boy, there's a lot of ships. Yeah, this is way too much shit. Oh god, I don't know if I can possibly fucking not turn around it. God, and it's slowing my frame rate. Excellent. Oh my god, I just like to. Good god, get off of me. Is there constantly something fucking colliding with me? Jesus, get off of me. Oh boy. We have all the fucking. Oh god damn it. Fucking the Hemas, all the bombers. Oh, those are seraphims. Those are fucking seraphims. Oh, God. God, give me control of my fucking ship back. God, there's so many of them! There's way too many bombers for me to fucking keep track of, too. Please target this even though I'm fucking holding Y. This thing is not gonna make it. Holy shit, dude. Four minutes? You are not making it, dude. Still fucking on protect orders for this thing. God, there's 
no way that this is happening. I cannot fucking possibly imagine a scenario where we can come out on top on this. Fucking canes, are you shitting me? Oh my god, this thing's not making it. There's no way this thing's making it. Good god. Ugh. Jesus. Oh my god. There's too many bombs that there's no way I could possibly. Oh, did I just crash? Oh, cool, I crashed. There's Paladin. There's 500 bombs. Uh, okay, cool. The game just crashed. <laughs> uh, amazing. That's uh, that's probably a good sign. Oh, okay. Let's say we uh cheat our fucking way through this. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. You're about to... Was I really? Because there was still a minute and a half, and that thing had, like, nine HP. Oh, my Christ. That's so infuriating. That's why I didn't like this mission's balance here. Yeah, there, there's way too much shit going on, dude. Like... That, that's one of those situations where you, the player, have very little control over the outcome. You can only do so fucking well. I don't know if that thing was going to last 45 seconds, but... Uh... My god. Yeah. I'm, uh... I'm definitely... We're over schedule, so I'm not, uh, fucking around. Alright. I don't even know if any of my guys died in that, or if I had, like, they were basically being ignored in favor of the apocalypse. Oh, boy. Alright, well, let's fucking do what we can, I guess. I mean, I shot down a lot of shit, yes, but it was just like, there was just such an overwhelming number of enemies. I, I, I could not help but feel like I was having a minimal impact on the mission. Is everyone, is everyone out of this fucking thing now? Alright, everyone fucking protect this. Uh, you have to write your name in the enemy, yeah. my fucking me trying to pull my stick back to rest control of my fucking ship from a shockwave. Holy shit. Oh crap. Come here, you.
tanky, too. That's the biggest issue. These things are just tanky as fuck. Alright then. Icons. Fucking feels like a battle of Endor. It's obscene the number of fucking tempests I would go through trying to do this normally, just just because of how tanky the bombers are. Oh, there's seraphims. Non-stop bombers. Uh. Not enough tempests in the fucking world to be able to tear through even a fraction of these bombers. Jesus. How much time we got left on this fucker? 
two minutes. Jesus. Come on. I'm only doing better because I'm fucking cheating, dude. I thought I turned the goddamn thing off. One sec. Let's make sure that this is fucking off. Okay. Yeah, that seems like that might end up being the case here soon. Oh god. There's just way too many bombers per wing, dude. It's ridiculous. There's like eight of these fuckers. Can you fucking die? Christ, how many fucking... Time to kill is ridiculous on these things. Even with cheats, the time to kill is ridiculous on these fucking things. Oh my god, come on. Don't fucking die on me now. You've got to be kidding me. There's no fucking way, dude. Oh god. Yeah, it's, yeah, see what I mean? There's no way that you could do that. I'm I'm involving this fucking thing. No. I'm fucking involving this. Nope. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm involving this. No, I made it in Vuln. Fuck that. After all of that shit, I'm not fucking doing that. Straight up in Vulning. And now I and now I do this. Look how many there are! I'm fucking Christ! Holy shit. Oh my god, dude! How many do you fucking have spawn? What is wrong with you, dude? Check this out. How long can I hold this down before I run out of things to target? Kestrel, come on, this is unacceptable! <laughs> that's, that's not how you create difficult missions, dude! Oh my god, dude! This doesn't happen in any other mission I think I've ever played. Okay, I'm just going to do this while I fly to the node. Where's the node? Look at this! Bro! Where's the node? I lost the node. There's the node. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? This is probably why I crashed, dude! Like a fucking memory leak! Look how many things are in this mission! I'm not gonna let go of this until I run out of hostile targets. I'm back. I'm not letting go of this until I run out of hostile targets. Why is there a Lucifer?! Did I finally run out of things? Holy shit. Okay, let's have a look at this, shall we? Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Okay, that's enough of that. Right then. Oh my That's a lot of shoops. <laughs> Score kills, yes. That's too many ships. How did that not break Fred? How did you make that mission successfully? That's what I want to know. <laughs> That's just obscene the number of. Now the final mission. Oh my god. We have little time warriors. We survived the trip to the node, but our task is not yet over. Oh god. 
Once we enter the Eden system, the apocalypse will come about and scan the subspace portal for weak points in its structure and systems. When we are in a position to have identified target points, the apocalypse will open fire with its forward beam. Abderaxis Cade will be present in the engineering section to help boost beam power output. Warriors, your task will be to neutralize anything that follows us through the portal. At last count, there were eight cruisers, four corvettes, and two destroyers approaching the Eden node, as well as the Super Destroyer Redeemer. Do not waste heavy ordnance against the light targets. Keep your torpedoes in reserve until corvettes or destroyers have arrived. Oh, God. I believe that with the resources available to us, we can successfully hold off most of the Shivan onslaught. However, we do not have the firepower necessary to engage a Lucifer class super destroyer. If the Redeemer reaches the Eden system before the subspace pool is destroyed, our chances of survival are very low. Your wings have been replenished from our reserve forces. As before, Alpha Wing will have full command over all wings. Alpha One, keep in mind that wings Delta, Zeta, Sigma, and Pi consist of Amun bombers armed with anti warship torpedoes. Direct them as you see fit. That's the old stuff. Jesus Christ. We're almost done, Warriors. Cleanse the night. Okay. <laughs> I will cleanse the night, I guess. I will try my damnedest here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. At least one of these is gonna be. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Please don't cast additional ships in the bed. No! <laughs> just pushed the Moloch. Did he just go crashing through? Is that what just fucking happened? He just there? rammed the Moloch. Yeah, he did. It's like, nah, fuck off. Out of the way, <laughs> bitch! Move, bitch! Get out the way! Get out the way, bitch! Can I just tell y'all to. Get rid of that Rakshasa, it, it upsets me. Your, your, oh, says Rogue killed that Moloch. Your existence offends me. <laughs> Be gone, thought! Oh my god, look at the- oh, oh my fuck. god. Oh, oh, that's a lot of everything. So yeah, just fucking take these assholes out. <laughs> Get rid of them! Delete! Delete! Fucking delete! Oh my god, look at this! Main beam fire. Main beam cannon fire! <laughs> the firing squad. You have been committed to the firing squad. You like revenge for all the troubles the Sheevans have given you. You dare bring light into my lair? You must die! Oh my fucking god, dude. Okay, I feel like I don't really have to do anything here. I just kind of order the firing squad. Oh, you got more friends? Alright. Oh, fuck. A wing of canes. A wing of canes, yes. Very frightening. Lock. Canes have migrated. That cane is dead. They bring death with them. Their own death, that is. Oh my god, stop shooting me, please. I need you to stop!
stop! Why me? Look at everything else you could be shooting. Oh my god. Bombers. Bombers. No enemy bombers. No. And nope, the front of the typhoon. this Wing of demons? Don't say things like that. It's upsetting to even think about. A wing of demon surprise. Is this fucking thing gonna... Thank you. Come on, Parker. Everything said there were two destroyers as well. Still no enemy bombers. Exploded and kaboom! Oh fuck me! Oh, you're kidding me right now. Oh, please tell me that's not a fucking Ravana! Oh fuck! Quit turning, you motherfuck! Oh, God. Only exceeding by 12%. Oh god, it's like nothing. Apocalypse's reactors would be slagged by the end of this. Yeah, it is. Oh, what now? Oh, oh god. Is that a demon? I don't know. I'm afraid to look. That is a demon! Oh, there it is! I want to say demons are tried for this place. They are- they did say there was two destroyers coming. 
Screw it. Demon surprise. Demon surprise! Oh, this motherfucker pieces. Come on, goddammit. He's still on that bombers. That's good. Just fucking... Oh my god, we're running out of dudes too, honestly. Oh my god. Yeah, give it to the demon. I'm fucking... Better than Satanus surprise. Oh my god. Blow that thing up. So many. Is it firing? It doesn't appear to be firing beams right now, so. But there's a revelation over there. Oh, one be wanting the demon. One minute to super destroy arrival. Jesus Christ, come on. I feel that fucking word. I don't think it's really an issue that at this point. I think it's already done the turn it's gonna do. Holy fuck. Get rid of this fucking thing. Oh, well, there we go. Ow. Blitz this motherfucker! Oh shit! Oh, I don't want to be here. Where's that Lucifer? I can't really do anything about that. Can you get off of my fucking ass? Where the fuck are you? Oh boy, are they leaving? What the fuck was that all about? Holy shit! Oh my god! Uh, oh, the portal's blowing. Good. Fucking hell, is it over? Oh boy. All right, good job, team. Now blow up, all, <laughs> blow up all the fucking refuse, the space trash. Holy shit. That was, uh, too much for oh, that was tense. Oh my fucking god. Oh no! I'm just watching. Oh no! Yeah, something came through. Uh... Oh, it's a node collapsing. Okay. It, brethren, just as I predicted. Imagine Lucifer running into a brick wall or something. <laughs> I must confess, I believe we would die in that system. Oh, and you were not to dot the hammer of light in the future. <laughs> Those guys over there going to town on that. Mission accomplished, warriors. We have earned our survival. Return to the apocalypse. I will prepare ceremonies to celebrate our victory. Okay. Love the tensity of this mission. <laughs> that was tense. For now, we are safe. The subspace node leading to the Gethsemane system has collapsed, and the destroyers can no longer reach us. This isn't cheap, thanks to you, warriors. Well done. The apocalypse was badly damaged in the engagement, and our strike craft wings are heavily depleted. We will hold our position for a time being and repair and regroup before we begin exploration of the Eden system. I am proud of you, my children. Our journey is not yet over, but perhaps the most difficult part of it is... Wonder if that's the Lucifer that shows up in Derelict since the node collapsed on it. Whoa. Okay, that was Mantle. That was fucking intense. Sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a bad way, but um, I, at the end of it all, I enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely think it could use a little bit of uh, love and care to polish it up and uh, grind down some of those uh, rough edges, but uh, no. I think that was overall a great experience. Uh, definitely got the blood pumping several times, though 
it did get a little overwhelming at times. So yeah, uh, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I can understand why people were super psyched for me to play it, but yeah, I need to like. Writing is awesome, yeah. and it? the writing was great. I love the writing. Uh, some of the uh, ideas for the missions really love some of the stuff tried to do, like the 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 like being near the sun scanning thing. Like, that was kind of cool, the radiation damage. Uh, love that it had a couple Nebula missions. I love me Nebula missions. Uh, great ideas. Mission balance might need some looking at, uh, just at the very least to not fatigue the player with or, or try to convey information to them while they're juggling a million things. But uh, I don't think that uh, it was an inappropriate amount of action, like considering the context, though considering the large scale operations that take place during other campaigns, especially official, with significantly less ships, it could probably be toned down a bit, that second to last mission. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion on things. Uh, overall, very solid campaign, thoroughly enjoyed it. Love the ideas that I saw put into play. Love the writing. Uh, just give it a give it a little coat of paint in the polish department. So, fun fact: Mantle sequels were planned but ultimately scrapped. Aww. But yeah, that was uh, I think the first and only like campaign that I've played uh, that is from the perspective of the Hammer of Light. It was interesting. I enjoyed it. Uh, I've kept you guys way longer than I should have, and I am mentally exhausted now, so I'm probably going to go take a fucking nap. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the show. We're going, uh, that was Mantle, made by Kestrel, who's here with us. Everyone, please give Kestrel a pat on the back and see if we can't convince him to give us more goodies in the future. Uh, wish I could have gotten in contact with you sooner, Kestrel. I would have tried to have you sitting in on the, uh, on the voice chat with me and Colt here. But, uh, it is what it is. I will bug people about the thumbnails that I'm trying to get for some of these. Uh, I know that I'm using the default thumbnails, and I know people have complained about that in the past, but I'll try and get something up at some point. Uh, bear with me. I got my hands full, and I know the people who make these got their hands full, too. Next week, we're going to be playing Aftermath Reboot. Y'all been harping, harping, harping about that. And that's probably going to take us until the year 2024, so I hope you guys are strapped in for some fucking Aftermath reboot. <laughs> uh, at least I think that's... Hold on. One sec. Let's close this shit down. Yes. Close this down. Let's... And then there's Aftermath reboot 2. Uh, Aftermath... Yes. Uh, Aftermath reboot 2 Electric Boogaloo. Where do I... Did I have that slated for next? Is it already time for that? I know that's what fucking, uh... Oh, that's what, that's what Spartan has been waiting for. Uh, yeah, we're doing the Aftermath reboot. Spartan so. mentioned uh, what the falling parts of Mantle would have had. What's that? What's up? Zod's mod the apocalypse with Shivan parts, rediscover the ancients, then finish the Shivan job. Whoa, that's fucked up. Uh, may get to finishing it eventually. Well, we're looking forward to it, dude. Good to see free space content being streamed. Oh yeah, are you new to the stream, Lord Solarix? If you haven't already, please subscribe. We do this every single week. Uh, gonna be doing this for the foreseeable future. And uh, yeah, I'm always glad to see new people jump in on these. I've been getting more subscribers lately and I'm hoping, 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 hoping to get more people who are either passionate about this or are just curious and poking their nose in and wanna see what it's all about. And who knows, we might get more people involved in the community. So. Um, if you like it, please subscribe, please like the video, and please tell your friends about me. We'd love to have more people to banter with in here each week. So, uh, yeah, we are like way over, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you all, as always, for coming. It is always a delight to have you out here sharing this passion for free space with me. Um, Colt, do you have any parting words before we, uh, run away with our viewership for the week? Yes, I know. She nice. Uh, no. Mantle is awesome. Nope. AFR Mantle next. Awesome. Can't wait to see a Shivanized Typhon. Now someone needs to give me concept art of that. Uh, da, 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 da. An abomination. I've been lurking, just finally got on my account to watch for once. Nice. Well, hey, join us uh, next week, dude. We're looking forward to it. Thank you to everyone who came out. I'll catch you all next week. 
Until then, have an awesome one. This is Colt and Red Mage Joe signing off. Mm -hmm.